It's... Kepler time! Ke mm. Kepler time! Hello, baby. I guess. Sure. It, it can be Kepler time. Kepler time. Boop, 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 boop. Hi. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Hi, everybody. Hey, it's Friday evening. You know what that means. You probably do, because that's, like, you're you're here. So I'm playing some Zelda. Um, we got quite a bit of alerts here. Uh, there's actually a lot of art. There's a lot of art. There's a lot of art. So we're going to get through alerts, get through art, and then jump back into the world of Zelda, this time on the ground. I like the ground. The ground's going to be great. 13 months from Just Some Old Man. 54 months from Missing No Leader. 44 from Josh A. Brom. 17 from Verde Mama. 55 from Joey. 9, 31 from Lady Leaf. 8, 3 from Red Sodium. 3, 3, 6. 39 months from Mr. Squidpus. 14 months from Aspiring Fish. 54 months from Rallet Hoot. 40 months from Boff Banoff. 39 from Humbology. And now let's do a little cooking with Antihero Sora. What do we got? Choo-choo jelly. Choo-choo jelly. A pumpkin. pumpkin. Oh, it's going to be a simple recipe. Whipped cream. Like a panna cotta? Sour pumpkin pie. Raw. Mmm. I don't think I would want um, sour pumpkin pie. So I've cooked a pie from scratch, scratch, like with a pumpkin before instead yes. of just canned. Yes. Don't ever do that. It's not worth it. Um, but it was so hard to get into the pumpkin to break it down so I could roast it. Ah. Hmm. So, a fortified one, you wouldn't be able to do that, so it's raw. That's true. Thank you, Antihirosaur. And now, a little cooking for... Zato. Zato. A Hylian shroom. An acorn. A bright-eyed crab. So full of life before it ends. Crab stuff shroom nuts. I don't like the phrase shroom nuts. Um, shroom nuts, I think, is in Webster's. It's a real word. Don't look it up. But I just don't like it. Yeah. I just feel like it should be abolished. Thank you, Zada. Let's try it again. Uh, this time with the Slick Duke. See if we get something a little more delicious than shroom nuts. A pickle. pickle. Good start. I love pickles. Mulduga, Mulduga fin. fin. <laughs> Mayo. Mayo. You're losing me. Mulduga and. guts. Okay. So the fin and the guts. Filet o leftover parts of the fish. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. That's what happens when you go to a restaurant and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, we have a special. Yeah, I bet. It's that you have things that you need to get rid of. Delicious. Thank you, Slick Dude. Let's do a little more cooking. This time for gold lightning. lightning. If you take in your hand lettuce, one lettuce, one eggplant, and one fairy, <laughs> This is, oh, this is going to be clever. Surprise salad. Surprise! If you eat the salad, you'll come back to life. Also, wait, eggplant. Wait, hold on. You can have eggplant. Good lighting, thank you. Let's do some cooking for Darth Mario. Lionel guts. God, there's going to be lionel. Pineapple. Pineapple. Red choo choo jelly. Pineapple's a strong ingredient. I'm fan of pineapple. It's good. It breaks down. Lin Lionel foie gras. foie gras in a sweet and savory sauce. I didn't know we were going there with those three ingredients. Yeah, me neither. You know, I, I've never, I've never had. You never had foie gras. I've never had mm, foie gras. I had it once. It's not on my to-do list. And I didn't think it was. Darth Mario, thank you. Let's do some cooking for Full Metal Grizz. Garlic. A durian. <gasps> Yogurt. Yogurt. A Lionel hoof. Clothespin dip and crackers. Clothespin? Clothespin dip? Mm. Also, have y'all had durian? Like, re legit? You haven't. I had a I had a durian um, cracker. cracker and I could not do it. Yeah, like it bothered you for like three days. It wasn't three days, but it was like seven hours. A pin for your nose. Oh, that makes sense. Oh Thank my you, god! Bagel. Thank you. Sorry, that was not clicking. Yeah, I was like, well, I don't understand closer because it's a durian. Full mother grizz. 
Thank you. Yeah, it's bad. It's like... It's really bad. 30 Bits of Bell Bunny says, As of now, I am officially on vacation. Time to rock out with my Korok out. Yeah. Happy vacation. Happy vacation. Have yourself a merry little vacation. Really, really, really enjoy, really enjoy the uh, the weekend. Have you ever seen a happier cat? No. Rachel Lance. All right, let's do some cooking for Rachel. An egg. Egg. A diamond. Raw gourmet meat. A bell pepper. Oh, bell pepper. I don't know if we've seen bell pepper yet. Crash the economy omelet. I remember when the economy crashed and everyone pointed to a single omelet. Like, That's One the problem. Single omelet. Someone put diamonds in this omelet. <laughs> Too soon. Ah. That, it feels very Thomas. Rachel, thank you. Let's do a little more cooking for Pear Night. All right. Chorizo. Chorizo. Delicious, by the way. It is, yes. Rock salt. Rock salt. Fire key swing. Nadra's claw. And horseradish. Big recipe. There's a lot of a lot of monster parts in this. Mm -hmm. John Marston slow smoked brisket rub. I like the inclusion of like the other the yeah. other games. Mm -hmm. I think that's fun. Paranoid. Thank you. We got 23 months from Darth Mario 64. 25 uh, from Blaze 23124. 29 months from Omega the Kid. And let's do a little cooking for Gel 89, shall we? Cook time. Fleet low the seats. Sticky glob. Sticky glob? We just had salmon. I thought you were about to say, we just had sticky glob. Imitation natto with salmon sashimi. I have not tried natto. Um, you didn't? Ah. <sighs> No, I think if you it... tried a century egg, though, why didn't you try not though? I don't know. I think when things are like, you know, build up to be like ah, then I'm like ah. But if if you don't do that, I'm probably more likely to try it. If I'm back, if I'm back in the area, you'll try not. If I'm back in Japan, maybe I'll try it. Because yeah, Chaz and Jeff tried it, and they were like, it just tastes like beans. Yeah, and I was like, okay. Can you guys hear him? The real question is, who on earth can't? This morning, he was so loud. Yeah, he was really enjoying himself. He is right now. Look at that face. Good face. Jell, thank you. Uh, we get 500 bits of Midnight night. says, Stephen Amal, what is the name of the minor league baseball team located in Springdale, Arkansas? Uh, the, the, the Spring Minions. Let's go with that. Spring Minions mm -hmm. sounds real because it... It almost rhymes. Spring, spring. The naturals. Min oh, that's not close. That's no, no, no. That's not close at all. Well, I thought it was clever. 46 months from Faelina Luna. We got four months from uh, Felicia Rondo. Uh, it's time to do a little cooking for Unclever Title. Goron Spice. Mm hmm. Ham. Flint. Why do you say ham? I have no idea. I don't know where that started. Coarser, Coarser bee, honey. bee honey. I was thinking that when you said it, I was like, why do I say it that way? Moblin Fang. Seasoning encrusted honey baked ham. That is delicious. Tough on your teeth. That's fine. That's fine. The that's a f that's called, I believe, in cooking in culinary school, a flavor ridge. Uh -huh. We've got some chefs here, so like they can back me up. But I think that's called a flavor ridge, and then you you have a little flavor ridge as part of your ham. Let's use this ham. Oh Unclever title. Thank you. Uh, let's look at Radio Dread's cooking co cooking uh, ingredient list: summer wing butterfly, fire key swing, chili sauce. It's really, two different kinds it of can like fly. wings. Fly. Uh, <laughs> this dish can fly. Rice and shrooms. Icarus is <laughs> just a little too spicy, girl boss curry. <laughs> it could have just been girl boss curry. Yeah. Girl boss curry is very, very good. Radio Dread, thank you. 
Uh, we've got uh, 33 months from Lugia6, 36 months from Madam Spectral. Congrats on the three. Uh, Kepler, he's so cute. Sometimes on my lap he toots. Never makes a sound, but it makes me hit the ground because it smells so bad I want to poot myself, boot myself down the stairs, get away from him and his hairs. It gets in the air and it's hard to avoid him. He follows me around, he's cute, and I give him a boop on the snoot, but he does make the poop and then I have to scoop it. Also, did you know he likes to eat? And also, did you know that he's really sweet? He likes to sit on our laps and purr, and he does that most of the days now. Way too, I didn't mean to get so many like mid rhymes. Hmm. We went with poot. Um, we? Don't drag me into this. We went with poot. Well, where was your contribution to the song? <laughs> He was following Brandon around today. He was like, "Sit down, so I can sit on you." Hey, well, he does. He he doesn't fart a lot. No, he doesn't. But he, when he does fart, you know. You know, you just look at that face. Just he is just so happy. That was 9,500 bits from Camelos Magnus that says, praise the adorable Kepler. I I You're get beautiful. Mm, he I did praise a little bit. I talked about You're his beautiful. pooting. You're good at I pooting. called him cute. We went in a different direction after that. Camelus, thank you. Uh, it's time to do a little cooking again. NG Ben. NG Ben. Let's see what we got here. We've got a shard of Nadra's Horn, pink nectar. I want to touch that nectar every time I see it. Uh, Highland Shroom and fresh milk. Cream of Nadra soup. It's really good. That that's very good, and then also I don't know that Nadra likes that yeah. so much. Me neither. We already know that there's dragons. Yeah, we can. We've see the one. we can see them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to finding them. Can you hand me that? And you've been. Thank, Thank you. you. We get three bits of Omega. The kid says, "Well, here we are for another night of kingdom tearing." I guess tearing. Can't believe we're done with the tutorial. You guys should be caught up to where I am in like. 10 months? Can't wait. We're getting there. Have faith in us. Let's do some cooking for the tall nerd, 560. Mayo, bad start. Carrots, carrots and mayo. Blue nightshade and spicy herba mystica. Creamy carrot, definitely not poison stew. Is it spicy, deadly nightshade? Ma mayo? <laughs> Sorry. When when you make carrot stew, how much mayo goes into it? Is the poison the fact that it's mayonnaise? Mayo is a good substitute for, like, oil and eggs. Mmm. Sometimes. I don't know that I want mayonnaise in it. But I've used I use mayo instead of oil when I make a cake. Then <laughs> the mayo is the poison. Donard. Thank you. Uh, we've got uh, another cooking alert coming in from Scatman Scabada. Let's do some cooking. Jalapeno. 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 Goron spice, fleet lotus seeds, and an ancient screw. Roasted spicy sunflower seeds. We, we had a limited ingredient list. Yeah. Sunflower, trust me. Yeah, I hate it when I eat screws. Scatman, scab dot. Thank you. We got 32 months from Happy Oro, 37 months from Queer Quest, six months from the Zekanator. Let's do a little cooking for Camelos Magnus. Uh, what if you take? Hear me out. Bread. I'm there. Cheese. Oh, it's still there. What if we put tofu? That might be fine. Yeah. What if a hoof? Did I lose you on the hoof? You but there's did. ketchup. You won't even taste the hoof with the ketchup. This is just a really great essence of horse quarter powder. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. New from Burger King. 
the classic Whopper you love with a hint of horse. Woo! Uh, thank you, Canvas. <laughs> 57 months from Cobalt Custard. Two months from For Tweet Heart. Uh, cooking time for Nemo from the Hills. <laughs> horse it your way. <laughs> Ooh, Silent Princess, Cold Darner, Volt Fruit, Volt Fruit. Hydromelon, some of these are foods, Ale. Some of these are drinks. Have it your nay. Breezy Summer Night Daiquiri. Aw, oh, that's cool. That is, yes. You, Yeah, that absolutely hits, like, exactly the, the tone of what a Breezy Summer Night has. <laughs> Including the fireflies. Maybe it maybe you like shake it and it lights up. I learned this week we have fireflies in North Carolina. I had no idea. Mal got real excited. I did. I like sat there like a child and like clapped. Clapped for the fire. I don't know the fireflies appreciated it, but they didn't. I'm glad that you did. Anyway, Nemo, thank you. Uh, it's Dillo cooking for runt.exe. It's time for another jalapeno. A tomato. Love tomato. Cobbling guts, love the cobbling guts. Ruby. Oh, Ruby? <laughs> and some herbs. Junkrat's meaty pico de gallo. Junkrat. <laughs> Extra meaty. I like pico de gallo. Yeah. I'd rather have plain tomatoes because I don't like raw onions. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Mini Night says, yeah, Overwatch. We have had a, a, a variety of our friends create things for hey, the food alerts. We have. Uh, Runt.exe. Yeah, run Thank you. Uh, we got Thousand Bits Marlowe. It says, finally get the chance to start Zelda and found a thing I'm interested in seeing what you do when you get there. Also, may as well get my spirit link from Chazelda. I guess Chazelda is how Chazelda. I should. Chazelda. Uh, Chazelda. I really like Chazelda. It's very great. Asado says it's definitely a Juliet male. Yeah, that probably was. Aldo, thank you. Also uh, to point out, we didn't have fireflies in Myrtle Beach. That's why I'm excited. We had them in Wisconsin, and I've missed them. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I got to experience some of them growing up. Yeah. In, like, Maryland. Yeah. But not Myrtle Beach. Let's do a little cooking for Sceptile, shall we? Take a giant ancient core, add an egg... Maybe a little lion horn? Maybe. Maybe a little moblin horn? Maybe. Maybe a little, oh, horn. Oh, that's a lot of horn. It's a lot of horn. Hit horn. Heavy metal deviled eggs. That's so That's very good. good. That's very good. That, I really liked that one. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Can you put this over there? I'm done with it for now. I got you. And I got kitty. Yeah, when I, saw, when I saw all those horns, I thought we were going in a very different direction. So yeah. I'm glad we <laughs> went yeah. somewhere else. Anyway, Septile, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Subby. We got uh, 51 Months Tier 3 from Wombat, because why not? Who just says, yeah, ha, ha. Wombat, thank you. And congrats on 51 Months. We got 17 Months from CJ the Grand Hunter. Uh, 500 bits from that comment says, oh, it's Tears of the Kingdom Friday. Got my Costco strawberries. And ready to see what awaits you both in Hyrule. We've got some Costco. What's the fruit? Cherries. Name? Cherries. Impress the neighbor's clam with Tiny Eddie's bubbly unicycle Chlorico. Chlorico chow? Chloro chow. So chloroform chow? Oh. Oh. I don't know that you will impress the clam. <laughs> Clorox? <laughs> mm, mm. Chlorophyll chow? Mm, mm. From Zotto, we might have all started cooking now, but don't worry, we haven't forgotten about you, Eddie. What have you got for us? Ah, yes. Impress your neighbor's clam with uh, chloroform chow. <clears throat> but Sorry, I'm skipping over bubbly unicycle because chloroform chow. Is it a unicycle when you ride it, it spits bubbles out? <laughs> That's the sound of bubbles. Right but. from the seat. <laughs> bubbles from the seat. You have to pedal and they go. 
<laughs> Where was I? Uh, <laughs> 36 months for Dark Shadow. Seat. Congrats on the three. Let's do a little cook confirm. Murmur. Let's see what we got. If you take in your heart a pickle. Okay. And you add some yellow choo-choo jelly. Mm -hmm. Maybe some bitter herbs. Mm -hmm. Maybe some cream cheese. And a tooth of a very of a very large man. That's how you get sour frosting crunch cake. We actually discussed this a while back uh, on, on a breakfast stream. The, the concept of having a cake with a sour, like icing or sour frosting, and asking if it would work. You could make it work. Lemon. Uh, yeah, lemon cake is real. I was thinking like Sour Patch Kids, but like, eh. Murmur, thank you. Let's do a little cooking for our pika. Take in your hand one bread. Slam it against a ham. Dip it in a horseradish. Smother it in whipped cream. You know what they call that? That's called a breadcrumb hot ham pie. An HHP. Everyone loves a little hot ham pie. <laughs> know this, me senpai. I have hot ham pie. Arpika, thanks! And for everyone else, I apologize. Ah, uh, cheese hammer. Let's do some cooking. Corn. Mm. Corn? Corn. More oh, corn? Oh, Christ. Pink nectar. Okay. Tabantha wheat. Corn. Triple corn. Jesse's <laughs> Our Prayers Have Been Answered Cornbread. Get them out, get out in the <laughs> fields and pray. <laughs> Storm's rolling in, Jesse. Get out in the cornfield and pray. <laughs> Thomas, real proud of that one. <sighs> Sorry, I. It's, an, it's the oldest broken picture phone reference. I can't even. Yeah. Cheese hammer, thank you. Let's do cooking for all that jazz. White choo choo jelly. A tentacle. Uh, a wild berry. We got some of those growing around here. Fire key swing and fresh milk. Ah, milky tentacles. Wonderful. Baked Alaska ambergris. That's creative. That is pretty. That is pretty creative. We we learned all about ambergris from well, Bob's Burgers. a Bob's Burgers episode that then I think it's led a us Futurama episode too. Then led us to Google and like learn about ambergris. I don't have time to explain, but Google it. It's a uh, part of a whale. Yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it kills you. All that jazz. Thank you. Time for some cooking for. Miguel. Eggplant. Guts. Okay. Wasabi. I don't think we've seen wasabi yet. That's new. Energy powder. Pink nectar. Redacted dessert. Ooh, yeah, those aren't... Mm, that's not really the... the... The type of things I would put in a dessert. Thus the redaction. It's a re yo yeah, this is redacted. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> you, you did a bad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, but what if you told us what you learned about ambergris? Oh my god. This is a duet. I know it is. You start while I Google ambergris. Now we'll tell you about ambergris. Ambergris is French. It is the digestive. It's solly and it's waxy. <laughs> it's flammable from a sperm whale. It tends to be used to make... It has a fecal odor in it. <laughs> they use it to make perfume. None of that rhymed. I, I was like, I cannot even... <laughs> sorry. It likened... Sorry. Likened to the fragrance of isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. Did you learn anything? Did you learn? Did you learn anything about fecal odor? Did you learn? It's waxy. Yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. It's solid. Uh-huh. It's produced in the digestive system of sperm whales. Mm -hmm. Wait, how do we get it? 
Um, it's something they can't eat, right? And then their body makes like a coating around it and then they send it back up. So it's whale I vomit. I think. It's like a whale vomit, but it comes out as a rock. And then the humans get it and they're like, this is perfect. It Turn it into perfume. It has a fecal odor and it acquires a scent as it ages, likened to isopropyl alcohol. What's wrong with humans? What went wrong? What happened to us? We used to eat, like, nuts. Anyway. <laughs> How much time do you have? <laughs> what, what's wrong with humans? How much time do you have? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Aldo, thank you. Anyway, now everyone has no noticed about him. Yeah. It's great. Uh, let's do a little cooking for a good fortune coffee. Sure. A frog. Oh, okay, it's a little different. Oh, two frogs. A shaft. A gear. Frog machine. Chili sauce. can't even. I just... <laughs> it's the boy. If you would have told me that we were building a unicycle, I don't think I would have believed you. Mm -hmm. But here comes that boy. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> I assume that was Thomas. That's a very Thomas. It is. It's a pretty. It's a pretty old meme. Uh, good fortune coffee. Thank you. Duh. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. I'm sorry that you can't eat because I told you about the thing that's sweet. Well, it's not sweet at the start, but later it gets a little sweet and it smells like isopropyl alcohol. It's ambergris. Sorry that you know. Now that you know, I really wish you'd go. Take your brain and soak it in lye and tell it that it should forget all about the things I told you. I'm sorry that I said them. Now you have them in your head, but just look at a documentary about weasels to forget. Weasels are great and they won't remind you of the brick that you found inside you, a sperm whale. No, not you. If you're watching, you're a sperm whale. How are you doing that? Christ, that song's so hard. Jesus Christ. It's so hard. You know, at any point you can change it. I, I first off, actually, I can't. Why? I actually that I first off I don't control that. That's actually Chess. <laughs> yeah, Chess is no, he can't. I actually cannot control that. Chaz controls the alerts, so I don't even have <laughs> any control over it. This is an anchor for life. <sighs> I need to have an on-screen heart thing for when that song plays. Like that song starts and it just it just loop, loops into my watch and it's like, here's Steven's heart rate. It's always alarming. Go enjoy Momocon, <laughs> Emil. Bye, Emil. Hey, don't take my brand. I forgot, Thomas is the only person on Twitch allowed to use heart rate monitors. <laughs> only person. Cameos. Thank you. I think. Thank you, I think. We, sorry, I'm calming down. We gotta get through these alerts. But first, let's do a little, a little cook. We may have to have a... Um, Alert break? Yeah, we may have to go to game. We got a snail? Oh, escargot! Garlic? Garlic? Wasabi? Oh, that would be good, Rock though. Salt. All of this actually does work together. Escargot is... Snabies Welk Bite Gumbo. Shout out to Snapey. Snapey. Snapey's in our pantry. Yeah. Which sounds Still alarming. Yeah. I thought Snapey got removed from the pantry. No, I moved Snapey from one side of the pantry to another side oh. of the pantry. Haley hid Snaby in the pantry, and then I was like, ah, Snaby's in the way of my chips. So I put Snaby higher in the pantry, and Snaby now just lives there. Okay. I promise not to eat Snaby. Mr. Game Boy, thank you. Let's do a little cooking for Mickey. If you have chili sauce, add a key swing. 
a hot pepper. This is gonna be spicy. A fairy. And hot, th that's a lot of spice. That's a lot of spice. Are fairies spicy? I've never had one. Five alarm buffalo chicken wings. <laughs> I do like that. I don't know what a fairy would taste like. Buffalo. <laughs> the full thing. Vicky, thank you. All right, um, there's there's still more alerts, but I think now is probably a good time to just show the art and get to uh, the game. So let's show some art. Oh, this is I love so good. It must be believed to be seen, Eddie Wonka. Love the I I love the whole yes. The pants are my favorite part. Yeah. To be honest. What other words? <laughs> Banana shiv. Banana shiv. I can't. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes there's banana shiv. Egg. That is exactly what happened. <laughs> the right panel is so good, but so is the left panels. I just love the idea of just. I don't know. Egg. Oh, is that cute? Oh, that's very cute. That's about our height difference. Because yeah. your chin's like right at the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah, I can, um, I think maybe I have like this much. <gasps> hey, it's oh my you. goodness gracious, it's Cappy! It's you! For your birthday! You're 11! That's right. Cappy turned 11. Yesterday? Two days ago? Two days Yesterday ago. Yesterday was. Yesterday. No, two. It was Wednesday. It's a good good piece of art of Kepi. <laughs> Welcome to Myrtle Beach. We've churches, got churches, miniature golf, golf and, and strip, strip clubs. clubs. That's not even incorrect. No, it's That's correct. so accurate. I feel that. Oh, cute. Oh, crocheting a giant dinosaur. That is large. Yesterday I made masala chai on my stream. That's very large. Oh. Can you read it? Morning, Frank. How's this swimming? Dale, I'm great. It's a wonderful day to be a fish in Hyrule. Mm, might have spoken a little soon there, buddy. <laughs> I mean, we we they we don't have a way to like reel the fish in, so we just dive in it. That's oh very gosh. good. That Tears is of the Korok. That is so good. Holy crap! Wow! Wow! Got both of them. Uh huh. It's good. Because we it's had so the good. one slammed onto the side. It's such good art. That's so good. So so good. <laughs> I mean, I'm good. Oh, well, there's a cookbook now. Now <laughs> fell a bit too far. <laughs> Sounds good. You um, you did, you did splat pretty I did. hard. You did splat pretty hard. I don't care about finding these stupid Koroks. Crap, I care about finding these stupid Koroks. It's been fun to like look back on the Breath of the Wild episodes mm -hmm. through the comics. Oh, that's cute. Oh my god. We had like several references to Kawasaki yeah. like in some of the cooking alerts too. So this is very pertinent. I love it. <laughs> oh! Kepler is very concerned. He stopped for a second. Oh, thank you. I didn't know it was gonna scream. <laughs> I was like, look, it's the, oh my God, it talks. There is still more art. We will show art after the first break. There's also more alerts. We'll do more alerts after the first break, but we're gonna get started on the game. And of course, if you are an artist and you wanna make art, you can always tweet it with crunch art and it may show up on stream. Are you ready to get started? I am. Kepi, are you ready? Let's pause are this. Are you playing first? Go here. And then, um, let me move this here and then put this here and then do it again because that's the way Windows likes to work. All right, so now... Oh, goodbye, buddy. 
Goodbye. Let's go over here. Mm -hmm. And then? And then... This is where we were. Thank you. You are welcome. Very welcome. Let me pull this up. Hard sediment. It takes time to burrow through tougher sediment. You, you what? You get a shovel? All right. Oh yeah, we're up <clears throat> here. Yeah. So um, the first thing you probably want to do is what? Is just test the stability of what you're on. <laughs> you did slide a little, so I don't know that that. Anyway. Um, in hindsight, we probably shouldn't have saved up here. It's fine. Um, you want to check your quest log? I do. Adventure log, it's called. Adventure log. So Crisis? What, so what's our, our things? Our, the fine prince of Zelda is like forever, right? That's like, we got to yeah. get to that. Uh, crisis at Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Castle rose into the air at the start of the upheaval, which tore apart the earth underneath it. Pura believes that Princess Zelda may have called out to you from deep in the earth. Join the search for the princess below Hyrule Castle. So, um, so here's here's my thoughts. Obviously, you're you're playing. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, at the beginning of Breath of the Wild, mm -hmm. you the the game opens up after you get off the plateau and you can do whatever yeah. you want. However, if you don't follow the main quest line for a bit, you miss out on for one, like actual gameplay stuff because you get tools and things that the game lets you use, which is important, and then also like teaching you some of the the fundamentals of the game. So, uh, I have heavily suspected that Tears of the Kingdom was the same way, and I actually kind of, like, briefly mentioned it on Breakfast Stream, and I was like, I think it would probably be wise to follow the main quest for a little bit. And Just without, for a little bit. Without any spoilers, people in, in the stream were like, that would probably be for the best. So, I think that you should probably go to Hyrule Castle. Um, I want to... What did you? What? I, sorry, I just don't. You s literally like we're hopping and skipping off of a giant structure. At what? <laughs> hey, I'm up here again. Yeah. What? I, you have to carefully get down with b carefulness. With the, the the you know, like a cat, like a cat carefully descending. A structure, like a cat would do, with a cat-like reflexes. Okay. It was just like, I'm watching you do this, and I'm like, you're going to die. What the crap is that thing? I think I'm fine. You're fine. So, the marker is set to the correct place, yeah, then. The yellow marker. The yellow marker, yes. But um, at some point, oh, get that bass. Um, at some point, we'll more f more freely. Yeah. What do you think they have to say? Hyrule Castle Town ruins Hyrule Field. Uh, it's hard to believe these ruins just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends, and now they're here. It's also strange, huh? Yeah, it sure is. But it's also a great opportunity. All of us in this a nice survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Well, Pura is investigating the upheaval. She's certain it'll provide clues about Princess Zelda. But progress isn't great, I've heard. Is the princess all right wherever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional, but really, who cares about that at a time like this? Anyway... You're right. You guys stand there and do nothing. <laughs> I will do nothing. And I will pretend that I am I helping. I can climb through here? It's a hole, so yes. Oh, it's a room. Link canonically. I thought it was a tunnel. Loves holes. Loves like small holes. That's just always getting up in them. Look at all this building going on. There is a lot of stuff happening. Ooh, a free farming oh. hole. 
Oh, I love hoes. I can till fields. Perfect. You can't, can't you have it. to throw something away. It is up to you. I have two rock hammers. Right? It's this. I mean, there's rocks. Yeah, sure. That's the weak rock hammer. Eat rock. Oh, snap. <laughs> time to time to go f to go farm on these guys. Sure. They're throwing rocks at me. They are. You're going to get shot. There's a lot happening. <laughs> Your rusty claymore is badly damaged. Yeah, but you're also, like, surviving, so it seems preferable. What's that thing in the distance? Is that a boar? It is. It looks like a boar. I have two axes. Are you trying to take an arm? Are you just throwing things at animals? All right, what else can I grab? A little coblin horn. Is that all of the stuff? There's a bow. A bow. I can't carry a bow. I think I'm fine. Yeah, you have construct bows, which I'm sure are better than boca bows. Okay. Oh, that really was just like a boar, just like yeah. standing there. What's this sparkle? It was like someone's mount. Sparkle? That does look... What's that thing that popped? Yeah, it's a, a frog, a frog, a frog, a frog to your right, to back. I want this. Oh, but the but the thing behind you, the frog, the little frog, get. It's oh, a it's a cricket, sorry. I said a frog, because <laughs> I was doing toad and frog. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity. Okay. That's sad. Get, um. Sneak up on this guy. Oh, what? Son. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Darn it all! President Hudson, are you okay? Oh no, what have I done? All right, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable! President Hudson. You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's V1, appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere. And now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that... Sorry, what's all this? Hey, I'm right in the middle of, pres of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What, what was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. Was it to hold his sign up for all time? And that's to put these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. Yeah, they're subpar. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. Build it better. And so, I've pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. I'll leave you to it. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Whoa, unforgivable! President Hudson, I'll support you. So... I guess you have to build something to keep the sign from falling over. Yeah. We'll take one of these. Okay. And we're gonna, um... Nope, not that direction. Just... 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 Do you have a plan? I do. Okay. I just couldn't do it from this way because I couldn't see what I was doing. Oh, no, not that. 
<laughs> Pulls out skeleton arm. Arr! How? You, can... you know what? I'm you... gonna get another thing. Oh my! Oh my God! You can only go. Yeah, I see. Up, down, or left, right. So mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think they can attach to the pre-existing objects. I'm seeing that. Object. I wasn't sure how that worked before. Yeah, I think it's only the glowing things. Okay. Well, you have made a tea. Uh-huh. Proud of your tea. Thank you. Didn't really want that to go in at an angle. You keep threatening it, like, <laughs> you better do what I ask or I'm gonna throw this hand at you. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. I see. Mm -hmm. Hey. I need to stay focused. President Hudson might topple, so can you not bother me? Try letting go. See, I had to figure out how this is working. You're doing great. You're Thanks. doing you're doing great. This is this is perfect. Oh. Oh, look at you. Just throw that right in front of it. Try letting go. I love how it was that easy. How's the president standing? Well, thank you. That was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get him secured while he's still standing. I loved your first design, though. Thank you. Where was it was inspired. a T and then a this, and then you just put it on top for some reason. That was brilliant. I wanted to see that work. I really liked that design. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. Yeah. That looks great. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Oh, wow. Wow, you just got a red ribbon. I just got paid. You must be hungry after all that. Let me give you a little something I made myself. Veggie rice balls. Hey, I, I don't know, food's good. But I still don't feel like I yeah, thanked you enough. You more. haven't. You definitely haven't. It's a little something from my premium collection, a special gift for me to you. A sleepover ticket. What? what? A lodging voucher for a regular stable bed. A reward for collecting pony points. Spend it at a stable to get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. Pony points. Sorry, I don't think we should call a hotel voucher a sleepover ticket. I need to start collecting sleepover tickets. <laughs> anyway, now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. I feel like the phrase, I need to collect sleepover tickets, really carries a very different feel. Uh, oh, we... this isn't where the yellow marker is, but I thought I'd come check out this little... Yeah. There's a little camp here, clearly, of camp things. Nothing it, I can it take. It looks abandoned. There is a cooking pot. Yeah. And, um... Oh, some spear. It's only a three... Traveler's Claymore. I do like that you can check them. Yeah. And then it's like in your registry. Agreed. He's, oh, gone. he's gone. He's gone. Where to begin? The Kyo Kyo Nonus Shrine. Wow, you scared me. What are you doing in a place like this? The Hyrule Castle Chasm is nearby. It's dangerous, you know. For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. I'd say most things are dangerous these days with what the upheaval, watch your back. Chasm. More like chasms, you know, the creepy openings in the ground ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of Lookout Landing. 
I heard that members from the research team went rooting around in some and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm researching shrines and not the chasms. Let's talk about shrines, baby. Oh, you mean like the one right here? This one? <coughs> this one here? The big alien egg? When the shrines appeared, it caused such a commotion they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight with smack on the front page, you know. So far, we know they're from the Age of Legends. But they did fall from the, uh, but did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they anyway? Aside from the shrines, we've also got chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all the things that sprung up due to the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, mm. which would be scary. So we need to investigate them pronto. After you, Emil. <laughs> the people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. You want... You... Sure. It's it's my turn to control the the space boy. The space boy. Space boy. He came from the clouds. I guess it makes it's him cloud boy. Better than half boy. All right. Let's see what's what's in the tube. The potato. Yeah, it looks like a little alien egg. Oh, you know what sounds really good. Oh, Mal, this Baked is helpful potatoes. for you. When I you saw. When you fall, you die. I saw. Nice to know. Combat training. Wow. Thanks. What a trick. I did, I did pretty great. Mm -hmm. There was something to your left that sparkled. He's mad at you. Got that long neck. And a bow and a sword. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike, ba strike back. Target enemy, strafe, jump. So the combat is certainly the same. So they actually give you some stuff if you don't already have things. I don't have any more shields. Okay. Also, can you use... No. Okay, I didn't know if it was possible to use this. All right, so they want to teach me side hop. I'm kind of hopping forward. This is a... Hit him with the arm. I'm going to hit him with the arm. The arm is broken. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Sick backflip. But also, I need, um, sorry, not this. I need a weapon. Uh, sure. Ow. Too early. I'm dying. I'll be fine. There we go. It's a timing thing. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get a shield weapon. Hold on, man. I'll just be with you in a second. Uh, bum, 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 bum. These are two-handed weapons. That's a, Is this a two-handed weapon? Broadsword? Oh, big... No? No, actually, it's Thick not. Thick stick. So I have to parry at just the right... I have to hit shield at just the right time? Yeah. But I'm, but I'm afraid. Wait... Oh, it's, it's, you have to shield and then press A. No, X. Hold on. I missed the thing because I was focused on changing to... <laughs> I missed the instructions because I was focusing on like, oh, I need to get a single-handed weapon. And now I'm like, wait, how do I do this? <laughs> Gosh darn it. Did you pay attention? No. Are you serious? What is the parry? It's gonna t oh, it is A! It is A! There it is. Okay. Good job. The weapon bad. Okay, it is A. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Yeah, we've, we've been doing those. We've been doing those anyway. Very I nice. killed him. 
Hopefully didn't want to teach you anything else. Your master of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed with... Okay, so side hop, backflip, which are important because doing the flurry rush is helpful. Um, parry go is also good. weapon from back there? I probably have crap that is crap. Um, yeah. Admittedly. Like, I pro... This is for chopping down a tree. This is... The same thing. The same thing, but if you want to do it with two hands, and I don't need that. Um... Rusty Broadsword, Zonai Charge. There was uh, also the ones that they gave you. Yeah, which I don't know what it was, but I can check. And what are my shields looking like? A flamer Mither Sh Oh, yeah! God. Okay, Old Wooden Shield. Drop Let's that. Get rid of that. And you get the Rusty Shield, which yeah. is better, I guess. And a Rusty Broadsword, which, sure, we'll just, we said that it's better now. Okay. Sure, this is fine. Good job making it this far. I mean, I didn't do a whole lot, but mm -hmm. yeah. Zonite sword. A zonite sword made of zonite. It resonates with attached zonite devices. Neat. To slightly increase its attack power. Neat. Your inventory's full. Oh, wait, no. You didn't pick up two. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Yeah. There's nothing else here. No. Okay. Interesting. Zonite powered. There's a lot. To this game, To yeah. this game. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll learn. It's like a process. There's a part of me that almost wonders if maybe you should have done, um a the t the combat tutorial I think it's fine it's all the stuff from breath of the wild well that's also why I'm concerned <laughs> mm -hmm. uh-huh it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be fine we offer this light thanks I love light it makes the darkness be um, less dark and that's great mm -hmm. love it when it's less dark Oh, it's hot. Warm. <laughs> I got a warm hand. It must be like whenever you get like a, a, a hot cup of coffee, but you're not grabbing it by the yeah. thing. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Clamp. They just, they're still in there. They just closes the lid. It's like, hey, no more peeking. You got what you came for. Rumor has it. <laughs> Korax hadn't. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm, I'm looking for Korax. So let me. Oh, they're upset. Oh, they look about the same. Um, sorry, I wanted to see this sword. So this, this sword. The sword. This sword. And. A Zonai sword made of Zonai, it resonates with attached Zonai devices to slightly increase its attack power. So if I attach Go something... Go to the Zonai thing. R. What? Does the thing you right. just said R, mean? R, 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 R. There. Can you attach one of those to it? These are Zonai devices, right? Yeah. It resonates with attached Zonai devices to slightly increase its attack power. So if I... But you also have, like materials you can fuse. Let me hit, let me put it on the ground. Let me put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. You could also... Where's fuse? Fuse. Okay. So I can fuse things to this. Uh-huh. Can you I? You can also hold it and fuse things. Oh, wait. Can you? Yeah. Because it brings up that menu, remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good point. All right. So... No. Well, I want to fuse something to it. So if I want to fuse... There's no way I... It's not... It's not like you put a fan on it. No, 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 no. That would be insane. Back. 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 Close this menu. Hit L. Switch... No, switch to the other... Power. What's left? 
No. No. Okay, it must be fuse. How do you... Fuse is how you put stuff on stuff. But you can it's, you bring fuse up the it. menu. Remember how we brought up the menu? What are you talking about? You just go near stuff and then you press Y and it fuses it. That's what you mean, right? If I want to put a tree branch on the Zonite I sword, about, I can. Like, when you have the arrow and you put like the thing on the end of the That's arrow. That's for arrows. Okay. It's not for this. This is you have to do that. There are like four hundred menus, and none of this is easy. What is, that must be something I can read. I probably don't want to put a tree branch on my sword. What's over there? What is what? The shield. Put that on it. Traveler sword, an average sword. Yeah. Gut. I just put a sword <laughs> on a sword so, on a sword, slice so I can slice wise. <laughs> <laughs> Traveler what? sword sword. What the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Extendo sword. It resonates with attached Zonite devices, but it's that's not a Zonite device. It's just a sword. So... I can destroy the sword, but I just got it, so I probably shouldn't do that. Okay, so like... I really like Sword Sword. This is... Wasn't the horns... As, did they count as something? I don't know. It doesn't say anything about it now. All right, I'm just going to assume that I'm... That's fine. There I was have like this a thing. journal and also that person. Yeah, there's a lot. There's so many things, and I'm not going to be resistant to cold much longer. It's okay, you're next to a fire. It's true. Pura has sent urgent orders from Lookout Landing for all of us on the Monster Control Crew. As Hyrule Castle continues to float, she's tasked us with searching the area beneath it for Princess Zelda and her protector. I have a name. Be aware that the gloom has spread even more in this area. Prepare yourself before you depart from Captain Haas. Oh, let me go talk to this person since they did seem slightly alarmed. And I don't want them to be alarmed. Whoa, was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Huh? Mm, what is it? We're close to the chasm here. It's dangerous, you know. For all I know, the shrine could be dangerous, too. My point is, lots of things are dangerous. I Can't was, live in fear. I went in there. I was in there. Millie? Whatever your name is. I was... I, w I walked out. She didn't see. It's fine. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I have I a... a sword sword. I have a sword sword and everything's fine. <laughs> Let's take... A break. We did that. Mm -hmm. We did one unit of thing. It's fine. Oh, I got a text from my grandma. I'm so happy. All right. Okay. There's a lot to learn. Yeah. There's a lot to learn. You know, we'll help each other or hinder each other. When you were yelling about the one thing, I was like, I don't know what that is. It's fine. It's fine. Listen. 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 There's. Listen. I'm not even going to entertain the thought. 43 months from Zelda Master. We got uh, five gift subs from Captain Joe to Mandy Nicole, Lady Antisocial, Rob Cafes, Zerus Petals, and Tony ZX15. Captain Joe, thank you. We got 10 months from Raven Shepard. Three bits from Gold Mage. It says, unfortunately, my monetary situation means I have to significantly scale back my Patreon and Twitch contributions, but I did want to say I'm proud that Nintendo decided to ensure Bubble Toads are in Tears of the Kingdom, released 2023, Year of the Frog. Praise Jazz. Bubble Toads? Is that a new catchy? I don't know. We haven't seen them. A new little catchy. I thought we were grabbing a frog, but it was a cricket. Anyway, Gold Mage, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we got Jamesy P. Gifton sub to Master Linkle. Four months from Mike Eel. And sure, let's have a little Eddie. Having an absurd tea time? Always. You need Tiny Eddie's Kale Wrap Tapioca Loaf. Leaf says, all this Zelda cooking is tasty, but I can't help but want a Tiny Eddie original snack. You need Tiny Eddie's kale-wrapped tapioca loaf. I do. Is a tapioca loaf just like bread, but it's got the... Tapioca pearls? Pearls in it? Yeah. They're like raisins in there. 
that's not the worst thing that Eddie has come up with, but it's not like how I want either my bread or my tapioca. It's like, congratulations, you invented a worse sum of its parts. <laughs> you took two things I enjoyed and you made them worse. It's fine. 1500 for Mike Capella. Says, uh, hey everyone, send them good vibes. Had an interview on Monday for a part-time teaching position and they asked me to come back next Tuesday for a demo lesson. Good vibes. That's good. That's a good sign. Good vibes. Uh, I hope that your demo lesson goes well. Yeah. Very, very cool. Good luck, Mike. Uh, we got 300 from Colleen here. It says, who let this clown near a cooking pot? Oh no. 500 from Felicia Rondo. It says, my partner and I have been amusing ourselves by reading... Uh, Totka allowed in a Russian accent, like a vodka for babies. Totka. Every single, every time I see it, I just I, my brain fills it in as TikTok. Yeah. And I'm desperately trying to make it stop TikTok. doing that. Uh, 23 months from JT Slasher, 22 from Swice Plays, uh, Demonic Goblin subscribes. Welcome. We gotta do a little cooking for M Joseph 15. Cook. Cook, cook, cook. A pumpkin. A sausage. sausage. Rice. Rice. Robert. Robert thigh. thigh. Stew. Pumpkin chicken pilau. Sure. Yeah. Pumpkin and chicken is not something I would put together in my head, but it yeah. wouldn't necessarily you could. not work. You, yeah. It's you a, could eat that. Yeah. Pumpkin's fine. Pumpkin's fine. And Cabo Joseph. Show? Thank you. Uh, we got 55 months from Septiled. We got a subscription from Slimjor. Welcome. 56 months from Houndflash. 31 from Jay Lineback. Armored Frog gives a sub to Chugga Conroy. 11 months from Silver Knightford. 57 from Bloop64. 23 from Nessa Zora. 1, 2, 3. 400 bits from Gamers. Who says belated birthday bits for Kepler's 11. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday. Yeah, Kepler's birthday was... He asleep. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kepler turned 11 on Wednesday. Rocco turned 17 on Tuesday. So they have back-to-back -back birthdays. Which I seem to forget every year, I guess. I don't know. Four months from PF Dog. 27 from Psychodon904. 34 from Deku Miguel. Four months from uh, Brizig93. Uh, 500 bits from Septout says, Horny Heavy Metal Deviled Eggs. A fitting meal for me. First stream I've been able to catch live in a while. I'm halfway through engineer training and learning how to drive some heavy trains. Better than horny trains or some filled with high amounts of pee. <laughs> Well, good luck yep. with uh, your continued engineer training, and um, you'll be able to drive the big train. Big train. Super train. Heavy trains. Ultra Mambo. Tango Foxtrot. Tango Foxtrot martial arts train. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing about the eggs. 54 months from Mr. Viper Fang, 13 from Isaac Wilton. 45 months from Dragon Lee, 38 from the Shark Me, 300 bits from Andy. It says, hello, just finished getting my new library card and ready to crush these children in summer reading. I loved summer reading. There was like prizes. There were prizes? Yeah. Wasn't the prize like knowledge? No, there were prizes. It was like themed every week or something. I vaguely remember Pizza Hut. Yeah, Bloomstar says, I love the Pizza Hut. I vaguely remember Pizza Hut, but I thought, I thought that was through school. No, we had prizes. Also, I haven't eaten at a Pizza Hut in like 10 years. Uh, you can go with someone other than me. <laughs> Three different Brusos is tossing a clown before heading back to work. See, Book It was through school for us. Yeah, I don't... I want, I want a Pizza Hut now. I don't expect it to be good. I just want it for nostalgia purposes. And I want the red Coke cup. The red translucent Coke cup. Three, 34 months from Starry Knox. 41 months from Jolteron. 17 from Dual Braids. 53 from Nonamasochus. 300 from Tiger Tiger. It says, when you forget, you don't have the paraglider yet. Is that why you died? Did you instinctively try to paraglide? Ah! <laughs> you don't have the paraglider yet. 36 months from Grandson Brambo. That's a three. Congrats on the three. 18 months from Awkward Geek, 1999. Six months from Ellie Grace. An anonymous gifter gifts a sub to Silent Companion. We got 18 months from Jet Jet 5. Eight months from Ruby Howe. 300 bits from Will Peters who says, Sleepover ticket sounds like something a person with bad intentions would offer. Oh no. 300 from AC Bunny who says, all, all you want to fuse is just use it on everything. There are pretty funny names. 
Yeah, it's so it's going to be hard because like we're only really just starting the game. Yeah. And we have to first remember that it exists. Mm -hmm. Like I can I can guarantee you there's going to be multiple puzzles in the game where we're like this is impossible and which just we just need to ascend. Like it's going to be like something above us will be like there's no way to go and it's just we have to ascend. like the ascend that's the one I think I'm gonna forget, mm -hmm. is Ascend. But Fuse is a big one, too. An anonymous gifter gifts a sub to Una Lee Fox. Uh, we get three into bits of shy, says, I'm gonna get you, like a space boy. I'm ready, babe. I'm gonna get you. I'm a space boy. Dive into your heart, baby. Couldn't come up with any good parody lyrics, so instead you get wholesale Dave Rogers lyrics for space boy. I am unfamiliar with the song, but I love the term space boy. Space boy good. Precious half boy David. 45 months from Decoy Troy. Uh, we get 400 bits from Radio Dread. says, have a clown from me too. Thank you. 300 from Slim George says, hi, Stephen DeMille. Been following you guys for a good little while now on YouTube, but this is the first stream I've had a chance to tune into. Welcome. Welcome. It's 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 like it's this. It's Friday. It's this. This is this is a pretty oh good boy. indication of what a land the streams are like. And honey. It's kind of fun because like you get to see like where the YouTube bits are, and then you're like, oh, there's like a lot of other things happening. It's like, yeah, this, yeah. The breaks are very fun. We have a good time. Uh, three hundred from Yami Florence says, I also can't tell you how many times I've pressed the wrong button to change my power. Too much Breath of the Wild. Also sugar. Yeah, because they used to have it. It used to be different, right? Where wasn't it one of the D pads? Yeah, I feel like it was. It was a D pad mm -hmm. button. And now it's L. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna make it. We're gonna. I, well, listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna beat this video game. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna jump off of high places straight into the ground to do it, but we will do it. So just bear with us while we walk around holding a sword, going, "Well, we fused this too. Well, we fused another sword." Like, the, eventually that will decrease and we'll be more competent. Yeah. Give it, like, a few months. 38 months from Anise. We got 500 bits from All That Jazz. It says, my first time catching a game stream. Been having a great time with lots of... I, lo I, I love hearing from people it's that a are... A handful of people who have... Here for the first yeah. time. I love that. I love that. I'm so excited to have y'all here. It is very... It is very fun. There are many things that occur in the game and not in the game. And you get to see things like art. Yeah. Would you like to see some art? Because I, I would really like to show you some art. There's eight arts in the queue. Let me put this up on the TV for us. There we go. The time together has been brief. I am so happy we finally met. You are exactly as Zelda said. <laughs> I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. <laughs> Bay. <laughs> oh, it's Ba. I read it as Bay. Bye. He didn't like it when I did that. You want Soon the person that grandmother has been waiting a hundred years for will be arriving to the village. I can only wonder what a legendary hero like that would look like. <laughs> Ta-da. Might need a towel for that. <laughs> The boy has been very wet. He has been very wet. Like, in a way that's very surprising. Like, he, his ankles get wet, and then he, he, for the next mile, his arms are dripping. He's like, I'm so wet. That's very nice. Oh, that's very good. That's a very good job. Good work. I don't know why he's so wet. <laughs> he does need a towel. <laughs> something for the birthday boy. Hey, birthday boy. Birthday boy, you gotta see this. He's asleep. He's asleep. But he has birthday art. We'll have to show it to him when he's awake. Side hop, backflip, flurry rush, shield bash, charge attack. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is, this is really well timed considering I just did the combat yeah. shrine for Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Doesn't see me. <laughs> uh, I did die. That's very good. 
Sadzi, Sadzi always does very good expressions. <sighs> did you? Did, but seriously though, like, did you get the combat? Yes, like I you did, did get I it got, though. I understood. They didn't teach I a saw... shield bash. It no, does make me wonder not. if shield bash is in here. It probably is. We'll figure it out. There's probably a shrine or a guy that's like, did you know that if you hit these six buttons and then you cough, like Link sneezes into the enemy's eyes. If you hold all of the triggers and wiggle the right stick, you can do pocket sand. <laughs> 15 months from Wonder J13. And with that, let's go back to the video game. I'm cold. I'll forget about it in a minute. You're cold? Uh -huh. I actually put... Era. I was I was so warm last week because Kepler was in my lap. The yeah, last last week stream. Mal was like, I was so hot Ooh. that stream, and I was like, I'm sorry, I'll turn like the air down. Like my mental function just declined. So, so I, I turned I turned the air down, and but, now and she's now like he's choosing to sit next and now to she's me. She's like, it's it's so cold. It's fine. I'll be fine. I'll forget about you, it in a minute. You will literally forget. I promise you will. Uh, -huh. uh okay. Let me turn that a little down. Uh, all right. So now that we have sword, sword, mm -hmm. um, I guess you can. You're making your way to the castle or whatever. Hey, Link, is that really you? When did you get out of from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watch duty here this whole time, and I didn't see you at all. Mm. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Haas doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. Got it. It'll be great when we can, like, run for more than, like, three seconds. Ah, yes. The fastest way to travel. Skipping like an idiot. <laughs> there is, there's a little uh, in the air, you know? I can feel the in the air tonight. Wait. Wait. Are you trying to use, like, Magnesis? It, Ultra Hand is just Super Magnesis. Which is really great. Oh, you see. Hey, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that. Link, it's you! Yeah, I saw my missing poster. I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Uh, wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need the search party anymore? Hmm, you should go talk to Captain Oz. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. Okay, but I see this mushroom. <laughs> hey, Link, it's you! <laughs> <laughs> Link stuffing eggs into his pocket. <laughs> I have memories of, of riding up here in a motorcycle, and now I'm just really pissed that I don't have a motorcycle. This is where you need the motorcycle. Oh, here we go. Hey. Link? No, it can't be him. I, I can't allow anyone past here. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. You should be in the first gatehouse, up at the end of this road. Do you really think you can stop me? I, I actually was wondering if you were just going to walk by and be like, hey. You don't s well, I mean, what's he going to do? Ooh, mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You're not permitted in there. <sighs> not getting past me. Go get permission from the captain. First gay house, up there. The fastest way to get up here is skibbidibbidabboo. Oh, like a toxic waste pit. Is that the guy? Oh. We've turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. You're the spitting image of Link. I'm his brother. 
I bet if Captain Hass saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. This gatehouse? Are we here yet? Hey, a shield. Traveler's shield. It's a four, though. It's better than ones you have. Throw it on the ground. Perfect. Slowly but surely, we will get good at the controls. I don't know that we want to use the 11 combat sword for barrels. But we do. But maybe we do. Maybe. It is I who is wrong. Oh, that person looks important. Oh. There's also that person. Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? You have Wingo. Me and a few. <laughs> Wingo. <laughs> yeah, me, me and a few others have the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway, but the captain's way up on top of the gatehouse there. It doesn't look like he's going down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so uh, best stay out of the way until we can help somehow. This looks dangerous. Who standing on the edge and staring at in this is intense. Seeing a chasm in person is far better than hearing about it. Chasm? Whoa! Why would you do that? Just up and startle someone on the edge of the void? This chasm is nearly bottomless, just like all the others created by the upheaval. Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of a nearly bottomless chasm. Even though it scares me, I can't stop staring into it. What if I take a jump? You really love to do a jump! Oh, you're almost where you need to be. I know, finally. The first gatehouse, Hyrule Field. Let's see. There's something up here. A, a soup ladle! ladle. Oh. Sure, why not? It's souping time. Just like I thought, the weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What weapons? Hey, it's a new face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. I got a soup ladle. They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is to strengthen them. Soldier spear. Soldier's broadsword. That's a six. Yeah, these are good. Let's see, axe hammer. Do we need the guster? No. All right. We need to get up to where... What's this? Oh, a torch. We somehow had never seen a torch before. Yeah, so he's up there, they said. Can you just mosey on up? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I thought that was a person. I mean, you really out here, like, climbing this? Living. <laughs> you out here living right now. Are you sure they're... They yeah, they said up? he was on top of the gate tower. I, I mean, yeah, they alluded to that. I guess so. Oh my god. Did a little transition there. This is very is. atmospheric. Hey, buddy. I finished up the search around here and I'm ready for my next instructions. But Captain Haas is a... Kind of on edge. I don't want to bother him. Like, literally. Keep searching! Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Can't even look at you. Huh? Link? Is that you? You're alive! And all in one piece, it looks like. Mm, two. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe, too? What a relief! Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search. I see, or maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Oh. 
I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh? Captain, it's Princess Zelda. Oh, convenient. Well, I guess we're done here. Credit roll. Is this Shigeru Miyamoto? Princess Zelda, she's safe. Oh, she's ascending to heaven. And she's dead. Huh? Wait, wait, what? Huh? You saw that too, Link. Nope. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? Nope. How strange. This this is an emergency situation. Hmm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Okay. All right. <laughs> so now it's like, get back to where you were. Now remember... You you don't have a way down. True. I don't know if you remember that you don't have a way down. But you can travel to the shrine. Look at me go. Look at me go. I am glad that you did that as opposed to just dive down to your death. Fine. Because <laughs> I really thought you were going to just jump down. Like, we. Like, yeah. You almost I did. wanted to. You wanted to. I know. But then you would have been dead. And I, d I don't know where it would have put you. Honestly. It might have put you at this shrine. It's hard to say. Okay. Well, we, we're we here. Central Square. They really did a number on this. It doesn't look so good. It's going to need, like... Let me move this rock. Oh my god. My thought was, if I were the game designer... What do you think the distinct smell of a Korok seed is? Uh, poop. It's poop. I helped. It's 100%. It probably smells a lot like ambergris. Ambergris has a fecal odor. <laughs> Um, but it also smells like isopropyl? Uh, well, it sweetens over time to eventually smell like isopropyl alcohol. I see. But when they first get it, it's, uh, it smells, smells like poop. Little, little poop, poop hole, poop nugget. Poop hole. Poop mm -hmm. nugget from the poop hole. That's fine. Oh. That was a mistake. Special hand. <laughs> well, I've made it back here. It was a short walk. I teleported half of it. Water. You're literally moving past where you need to be. The marker was at the gate. Was it? Aren't they right here? Well, oh, well, okay. I guess. No, you're right. You're right. Did I read for? Um, I think so. Link, well, did you find anything? I'm really wet. You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild, I cannot believe you. And you're telling me that's what you saw, and I've got to believe it? Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess blew off, maybe we should direct our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Hmm. Gosh, like you're still dripping wet. <laughs> oh yeah, you've still got the purr pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? It's really wet. What? It's worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Mm -hmm. All right, I forgot. Before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from the right, uh, from right around Lookout Landing, and for that, we need our Sky View Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Sky View Tower right now? Mm -hmm. mm, let me see. It's a tower. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Okay. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. 
The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired and wet. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds, a kitchen, towels. I hope so it has well towels. So for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. Do you have any sleepover tickets? If you want more info, mm -hmm. talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, dry clothing, you should go to Mub's shop. Mub. I'll be over by Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. All right, Joshua, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc, you can count on me. Speaking of switch... Wet. Yeah, he's still wet. Did it stop? Nope, he's still wet. Still wet. Still dripping. Dripping wet. Still has not. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right. So. Oh, hey, Robbie. Ah, what a pleasant evening. Hey, hey, you. Do you have any idea how worried we've been? So that's the arm, huh? I overheard Pura talking about it. Hmm, I see. It's, yeah, it's pretty weird, all right. Hmm, nope. Now's not the time for distractions. That's gotta wait until later. Anyway, I hear you've got yourself the Pura pad now. You know, that pee pad of yours can get a lot more powerful. I know it's real potential. I've got big plans for that device. But first, I need to help Joshua, Joshua with her investigations into the depths. But then, oh yes, then! I will head back to the lab in Hotno Village to resume my research. So once I'm able to finish up here, you should join me there. My hair has gotten very square. I wanted to go to the shop. With a shirt. What? There was a shirt on the line. You could hang your clothes to dry. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that. There's a good. towel. Oh my God, the towel! Please give me the towel. Let's go talk to the shopkeep. What about that? It's so great. It's just so great. This Hylian Armor series has caught your eye, too. The design is so cool, it fits like a glove. It's popular with travelers, too. Which means it's a must for adventuring. You must be M Mubs? Hey, welcome. It's your first time at my store, right? It's the only place to shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it looks a little thrown together. But my prices are sky high, because it's the only place. But I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so I hope you'll support my place here. Your hometown? I come from a small fishing town called Lurlin Village. It's way to the south, on the southeastern corner of Hyrule. It used to be a peaceful place, too. Then the pirates arrived. I used to run the village's general store, but when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I don't know how it's going there now. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please, let me know if there's anything you'd like. And I can also sell stuff. Yeah. But let's take a look at, like, because I don't have, like, hardly any money. 21 bucks. 22, maybe? Yeah, I don't have much. So there's this, the Hylian hood, which mm -hmm. costs 70. But I don't got no headgear, so that wouldn't be bad. Then there's also this, the tunic, which is much better than what I'm wearing. And then this, which is a little bit better than what I'm wearing. I could prob, I don't know, I might be able to scrounge together 70 bucks. What is this stuff? An apple? Oh, I know what an apple is. <laughs> what's this? What's this thing? What's this red thing? Uh, let me see here. I just need fifty dollars. Can you sell um like a ruby? You can actually sell armor, but I don't need to sell armor. Did you sell? Did you say could I sell? Oh, a ruby. I thought you meant a rupee. And I was like, why would I sell a rupee? Oh yeah, this stuff is extreme. Oh shoot, you can just have these. I probably don't need them right now. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. Oh shoot, I could get like real clothes for like a, for a real boy. I don't know if I'll need this stuff and I might regret it later, but for now I'm just like, I don't have any good clothes and everything that um, is done to my body hurts it. Uh, let's see, uh, 70 and 130 30. was 200 and then uh, 120 would be uh, 320. So 320, I need to sell uh, th this. 
Okay. Yeah. That's 320. Yeah, okay. Uh, Alright, yeah, I can, yeah, I can get this armor, which honestly seems like a good thing to have. Okay, so give me this. Yep. I got gear. Alright, give me this. And I still have more money than I had. Yeah. Well, no, I don't. I had 21. I'm gonna have 11. That's fine. But whatever. I've got, I've got, like, a lot, a lot better gear now. So, let's put on the new gear. So, trousers, hood. Well, the hood... What, yeah, what never about mind. The hood? You're fine. Yeah. So, the defense has improved greatly. Yes. So this is good. This is a good this is a good little getup. I'm actually glad that I stopped by here because I didn't expect to get all that armor, but we had enough money to afford it. There's a fella that they asked us In to talk center. to. This guy. Link. Glad to have you back, Link. My name is Scorpus. I've been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you Scorpus have any, is a good name. If you have any questions about this place, any at all, come right to me. I will answer as best I can. And please, allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Okay, yeah, I'd like to look in the shelter, I guess. It's me, open up! It's not a great password. <laughs> it's, it's me, the guy who's up here. Remember the time before when you opened it? Do it again. Welcome to Vault 101. <laughs> this underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself a home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Oh, oh, that's... Careful what you wish for. Emergency. Oh, it's spacious! I want to go on a survey! It's spacious down here. A survey. <laughs> Remnants from the Zonai civilization have started popping up all over. This calls for the Zonai survey, survey team. Well, it should be... It should call for that, but instead we've got me hanging out here until further notice. I even spent loads of hours memorizing everything in the Zonai Survey Team book over there. Guess the best thing to do now is to stay at top of the news in each region, so I'm even more prepared when the call comes. Mm -hmm. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. The Rito are all over the newspaper lately. They live out in the Heber region, if I recall. It's in the snowfields of the Northwest Hyrule. Some surveyors grows about going there because of how cold it is. Hmm. When they, all they need to do is bring proper gear and supplies for cold resistance and go to the Rito Inn to sleep on a luxurious fluffy down bed. Oh, I know it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they'd send me out on a survey already. Hmm. Rito Village is cold. Yeah, it was cold before. Was it? Hmm. I mean, it wasn't like freezing, but... I mean, it kind of sounds like it's cold, cold now. Yeah. I don't know. Read the Zonai Survey Team's three big ideas? Sure. Shrines. The mysterious ruins that appear due to the upheaval with strange dome-like protrusions. We're calling shrines. They're believed to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. Okay, what about chasms? Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, ill, I feel ill. I also feel ill. Evacuate from the chasm immediately before entering any chasm. Be sure to ask permission from Joshua, the leader of the chasm surveys, and our team's purpose. We of the Zonai survey team were founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to study ruins and ancient documents. Through the lens of archaeological understanding, it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many ruins from the Zonai civilization came crashing down from the sky. We have known very little of the Zonai, but we may now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Taro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. Our current surveys are wholly focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research results are shared out to specialists at the base in Kakariko Village. I learned so much. The Zonai in the sky. Zonai in the sky. There was a book, too. A book? Yeah. Oh, wait, that was that's that. The, Sorry. What I, that's what I read the same Hyrulean script, and yet it's so different from our modern language. I still have a lot to learn. Hmm? You're real close. Don't tell me. Based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm, you must be Link. Am I right? Purist told me so much about you. 
I'm Wartsworth. My research specialty is ancient Hyrulean. Mm. And by ancient Hyrulean, I don't mean the text found in the Ring Ruins, but something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Our modern language is built on that foundation. Mm. These books here are written in that ancient tongue. They'd look like gibberish to your average Hyrulean. Are you curious about ancient Hyrulean? I don't have anything to show you as things stand now, but I'm sure I'll someday have results posted and ready for all to see at the lab in Kakariko Village. Okay. I'm going to have a lot of stuff for you to do later. And this guy actually had a quest. Did I imagine that? Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. Can't say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name's Baramo. And they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like, for today's menu, we have fruit and mushroom mix that'll rev you right up. Uh, yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but... I'm plum out of apples. If I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to rich, full flavor. Mm -hmm. hmm. My nose is detecting an aroma. A sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma? Could it be? Do you have an apple? Uh, wow, you're really generous. I'll give you the first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. Oh, so you can get food. Which I like, and mm -hmm. it probably teaches new recipes, too. <laughs> I'm calling for almost special fruit and mushroom mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Aw, Bermano made fruit and mushroom mix. It contrasts the sweetness of fruit with the savoriness of mushrooms. I'd like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making it sometime. I did a side quest! <laughs> You're so cool. <laughs> I'm too cool for school. Today in the Lucky Clover Gazette, mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval. With Per as their leader, the Zonai survey team begins thorough investigation the world over. Hmm. Guess this paper is a little old. <laughs> There's so many, like, people down here. Did I talk to you? Mm. So you're Link, huh? Some of the soldiers were just telling me. As a simple man from Lurland, I'm a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. Lurland? Ah. Lurland Village! It's a fishing town in East Nakluta, far to the southeast. <laughs> used to be a popular resort, thanks to its sandy white beaches and gorgeous views of the sparkling sea. Then it's we get island. A, then we get attacked by pirates. Uh, now no one's living there, let alone running the shops. But, but listen to me getting all gloomy. <laughs> There's an upside. If not for the pirates, my wife and I couldn't have come here. I should just shut my trap and enjoy the charms of Lookout Landing. Ah. I really am grateful they took us in and let us run our business here. Anyway, I'm gonna go all my friends my are dead. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, is that you, Link? I'm a nose down, so I don't know what's happening around me half the time. It's pretty involved, so I'm gonna keep sitting here while I wrench on this. Uh. You might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all the weapons decayed. I poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no use. Decayed? Uh. Yeah, just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes. It was all pretty wild, and I don't understand how it happened. At the time when Hyrule Castle could float, I've been trying to make sense of most things. Oh, yeah. In case nobody has mentioned yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though they probably won't be much use to you since they're, you guessed it, decayed. So uh, there is no weapon anywhere. Boca Reaper, Traveler's Sword... I mean, a Traveler's Sword is probably better than, like, some of the g Garbo that we have. But probably not by a whole lot. Yeah. Um, we did grab a hoe. I'm so gra I'm glad... I'm glad we have a hoe. ...that we have a hoe. And a soup ladle? Um, I don't yet know what the... And our sword sword? I guess the icon... That indicates two-handed. That indicates... One-handed. And then spear. Well, this is a two-handed weapon, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. It's a t Okay, and then spear. Okay, so it's the type of, of sword. And then whatever you're holding, the arrow indicates that it's, like, the same yeah. power. Mm -hmm. And then this would be... This is apparently much better than what I have. So I'm going to get rid of... We have a soup ladle. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, you... I'll keep this. I'll keep the soup ladle! I'll keep it. I'll keep the soup ladle. Give me the Boca Reaper. What kind of damage is... Oh, that's a big one. That's yeah. a big boy. Okay, that's a good one. It looks like a fish. It does look like you're doing a fish. Hmm? We both did hmm. You can have Atmos. Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all of my attention. Are you interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on deployment with the monster control crew, I spend hours poring over our maps. 
As such, I'm the most knowledgeable and lookout landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. Peoples? Aside from us Hylians, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Each live in different area and have their unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. The leader of Lookout Landing Pura is from the Sheikah tribe. Hmm. What about towns and villages? Hyrule has eight major places that its various people call home. Let's look at the map. Thank you. The map! Lookout Landing is located here in central Hyrule. Yep. Up what up northwest of here, there's Rito Village in Hebra. Yeah. It's the Gerudo. And then there's the Gerudo town that's located in the southwest in the Gerudo region. You'll find Goron City to the northeast in Elden. Travel a bit further east and you'll come across Terrytown in Akla. Terrytown! Not too far from there is Zora's Domain. That's within the Lanigu region. Continuing to the southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called Nakluda. Within that cluster, you'll find uh, Kakariko Village, where the Sheikah live. I hear their village leader is quite lovely. If you're seeking a tranquil spot, Hot No Village is worth a visit. I also hear it's uh, become Hyrule's center of fashion. Finally, there's Little Inn Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the peoples of Hyrule, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is out on patrol every day, gathering information from everyone, everywhere. And finally, Atmos, what about you? I work with the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting everyone from monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval. But I'm not really the most skilled in combat. So instead, I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should make deployments. There's been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful out there. So that means those of you that played Breath of the Wild, there's <laughs> more. There's a Did shrine we... to pray to, but you don't have enough. Okay. I'm, just, I'm trying to see if we saw everyone. Did we miss... Her. <laughs> okay. And... And this fella. Oh. Link, right? You really are that Link guy, aren't you? I heard folks talking about you, and your face matches the one on the poster. Sorry, you wanted to bed, yeah? You can go ahead and take whatever empty bed you like. Uh, Nappin's sleep talking, and it's particular... Oh, the guy's name is Nappin. It's particularly audible here, so you probably want to bed a little farther from him. His physical condition has been deteriorating ever since he investigated one of the chasms. It's despite how long he's been back, which has been quite a while. He still hasn't made much of a recovery. Sorry, I've only heard about the chasms like six times. What are they? The upheaval created massive openings across the land known as chasms. In fact, there's one nearby just beneath Hyrule Castle, and another to the south of Lookout Landing. But if you go plumbing those depths, you'll come across plenty of gloom. You touch that stuff, and your health will take a turn for the worse. I got this arm. Anyway, there's a young girl named Joshua who's been heading up investigations into the chasms. Despite her rage, she's been leading the charge. Pretty remarkable, if you ask me. You sleep talk? Uh, nope. Nope, 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 not, not going near chasms anymore. Nasty Clements ever making everyone sick, making me sick. Glad that yellow plant stuff from the gloom specialist. Glad I ate that yellow plant stuff. Any more gloom and I'd be canoeing down old Death River. Work my tail off for Josh. A kid runs circles around Pearl and Robbie. She loves research. Me, I'm sick to death of chasm research. At least I'm starting to feel better, but I think I'll lie low and keep lying here. Cool. So this area is really big. There was a lot to learn here, but I think we got it. Um, next episode, I'll let you talk to the one person we haven't talked to. Sweet. Neat. There was way more down here than I expected. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Kiki. Who's Let's hungry, take Kiki? a little, a little break. Hi, Bubbles. What? Look at this tail of yours. Where'd you get this tail? Who, who'd you where'd get this, that from? Where'd you get this tail from? Anyway, welcome back from the void. Does he need anything? <laughs> Mal, Mal will sweep. Mal will talk to sweep lady. Does he need dry? Um, yeah, he could get a little dry. Do you want a scoop, baby? You want a birthday scoop? Why don't you give that to him while I read? He's getting excited. We got three to bits from Reed. Ha! Ow! 
Did he jump on your foot? He did, with his claw. Oh! Oh, he doesn't even know. No. Poor little guy. Reed says, now for your weekly Inspire Bot quote, angry? How about a donut? Remind me at 11 a.m. to buy a donut. I know what I'm about, and it's been a while. That's Mr. Mr. Game Boy. It's time to do a little cooking. Let's see what we got. So, a shroom, stamina shroom, horseradish, horseradish, Samantha wheat, icy lasalfa's tail, and a pickle. This is. Cooking Mama's Chilled Spicy Pickle Soup. Oh, I miss pickle soup. I also miss pickle soup. Also, it's a big, it's all the, the shrooms and the horseradish. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you all have ever had like fried mushrooms dipped in horseradish. It's so good. Pickle so soup good. is so good. I also like pickle soup. Mr. Game Boy, thank you. Captain Joe gifted sub to Lara the Pluralized. Appreciate it. Time to do a little cooking for Camulus Magnus. Ingredients, olive oil, a big hearty radish, a rugged rhino beetle, warm safflina, and cabbage. Cabbage. Cabbages. Cabbages. Pepper radish salad with beetle wing croutons. Croutons. Beetle wing croutons. I mean, when you want that crunch, I guess? Yeah, the, the crunch is the same. I probably prefer bread, but I also have never had a beetle wing, so I don't I don't know. You could start. I could start eating, eating beetles. beetle wings. Mm -hmm. I probably will. Cameless, thank you. We get three to bits of man who says, uh, welcome back, Captain Hawes from Breath of the Wild. He originally gave Link a quest to find a mysterious monster salesman. Oh, that guy. I'd say the name, but Adamod would get mad. Ah, uh, yes. And that's how we got our some of our fun masks. Yeah. Or hats. Neat. Yeah, I didn't remember Captain Hawes. Mm-hmm. He I was not particularly either. memorable, but maybe as a slightly more elevated position in this game. It's time to do a little cooking for Read the Nintendo Painter. <laughs> he lick. He lick. A raw bird thigh. Amber. Amber. Some honey. Mustard. mustard and an ancient gear this sounds good good ingredients aerodactyl nuggets with honey mustard oh yeah i guess if you put honey and mustard i want chicken nuggets that's very much i mean real talk i don't know i've talked about this a little bit before on breakfast stream but there are times where like i'm just sitting at my desk and all of a sudden i get like a pew and my brain goes i want to go to mcdonald's not McDonald's. I want to go to McDonald's. I want to get a five-piece nugget no. or 20, no. whatever, 50, whatever. No. And I want their barbecue sauce. It's like, like, once or twice a There's year. other things once that we could eat that once, are better. Well, yeah. It's, it's a craving, Mallory. Cravings don't make any sense. They don't have to be rooted in the world of culinary goodness. It's a McNugget. About once, maybe twice a year, I just need a McNugget, and I have to go get one. Anyway, Reed, thank you. We got an anonymous gifter gifting a sub to Emerald Shifter. Appreciate it. Stop trying to clean every groin and instead eat Tiny Eddie's glazed muskrat splatters. You can only clean some groins. Oh, we moved on. <laughs> we moved right past it. Let's cook for nun shoes and I'll come back to the cleaning the groins. Uh, we, got, we got an acorn, an ancient course, spicy herbs, pink nectar, and a shroom. What does that make? Lint Lindor truffle. That's cute. <laughs> That's very cute. Thanks, Elspeth. None shoes. Thank you. I like that Elspeth hit the button, so it's like Elspeth was like, I don't want to talk about groins. Uh, Sorry. No groins. None shoes. Appreciate it. Uh, anyway, I, let me go back and read Camulus's message. Eddie, I'm not having much luck with the Zelda cooking. What do you have for me? Uh, Tiny Eddie's glazed muskrat splatters. See, I don't like that. Um, well, Elspeth that... has a knife. 
It sounds like Elspeth has a hammer. <laughs> if their muskrat splatters. Hey, you! Stop trying to clean every groin. You can only reasonably clean like two. Eat this. Uh, an anonymous gifter gifted sub to uh, seven dragon seven. Appreciate it. Please explain. If you're feeling dirty in your loins, maybe you need to clean your groin. If it gets itchy, that is really bad. You should clean it or you'll make your wife sad. <laughs> Thank you, Kepler. No, don't leave, Kepler. Thank you. See you later, Renee. <laughs> Mods are like, peace, bye. <laughs> <clears throat> I know it, can I leave? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, six thousand more probably. Uh, please explain the cleaning of the groin. I don't think I could have done it any more clearly. So yeah. I guess that's, I guess that's that. I guess that's that. It's fine. We got thirty-two months from Tiniest of Kitties. My Hilo gifted a sub to Wet Link. Appreciate it. It's time to do a little cooking for a niece. Let's see what we got. A whole bird. Whole bird. A whole bird egg, a whole bird drumstick, a whole bird thigh. Wood. <laughs> Salmonella special. <laughs> You're gonna need a whole bird, parts of the bird, <laughs> things that come out of the bird. You're gonna need wood. Okay, so do we cook this? Nah, it goes in a bowl. Pretty good, right? Welcome to Disease Town! Anise, thank you. Uh, we got 28 months from Zimmer CJ, 32 months from Key Entity Extraction, a subscription from Chu, 199601. Welcome. Welcome. 13 months from Lulu is All, and six months from Vegito909. Let's take a look at the arts. There are three arts. Time to go on an adventure with your cow horse pal. Ah, here's the mountain I wanted to climb. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. Oh. Very stinky. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I love Quark Ambergris. It's my favorite thing. So much fun cursed art. It's great. Oh man, I used to have hours of fun with one of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm really impressed by uh, how far Joy has got. Yeah. Like 16 episodes in. That's, a, that's really impressive. Alright, are y'all ready to go back into the, the... Yeah. I almost said the wild. Sorry. The kingdom? Hi, cutie pie. It's time to go back into the kingdom. Kingdom time. All right. You get to go first. Uh-huh. Because you do that. I do. You're the person who gets to go first. <laughs> Let me pull this up. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. So we talked to everyone in here last time. Did you already forget what that was? Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Ah. Indeed, this place was originally used by the royal family as a safe haven in times of need. It's quite old, so we've been fixing it up as we go, you see. At this point, we've stockpiled some supplies, and I find it to be downright cozy. Ah. Oh, I, Monty, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. And I have a Monty Hall problem problem right over there. Which <laughs> door do you want? My tasks involve taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. A noble task indeed. Watch your footing when using the ladder. If only one could go straight through the ceiling rather than using a tiresome ladder. Ha! 
But I digress. Okay. Is this me? That's you. Hey, I know that face, and any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in the shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning in here, and there's still endless amounts of dust. Where does all this dust even come from, anyway? So I think we've spoken to everyone at this point. Mm -hmm. I, can you actually ascend out of here? L. And then S. Oh, ascend is up, which is smart, right? It makes sense for ascend to be up. I'm stuck. Uh, Hell. Uh, Hell. Uh, I like how one of the options is back. So, like, you can take a peek and then, yeah. like, leave. So, it seems like a good way to, like, get a look at some things. Okay, so we went to the shop. We went to the emergency shelter. Mm hmm. And now we get to go to the tower. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. That should do it. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now. Or it will be once you do your part. Hey. We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Hey! Hey! Did they have to make it so big? It's a big switch. It's a big switch. I guess it's like ancient technology. Oh, look at that. Neat. Oh my God. Oh my, oh, it's a, it's a bomb. It's fireworks. Mm. Oh my god, it's like a fireworks show. Oh, that's cool. And what does it do? Oh. All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Hold the perp head over that terminal. So do we not have to climb towers anymore? Maybe we just have to go to them to initiate the, the warp points. I think so. Because that does look like it'd be hard to climb. Huh. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can just use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every sky viewer tower you add to your pura pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But sky view towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The pura pad works with the sky view tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, hmm? Mm. The only thing is you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. paraglider. God, we've needed this. Now you won't die. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. It's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our very first test. Just step over there under the circle and find me after, all right? I'll be observing from the research lab. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck. Oh, that's... Oh, I don't like that. Oh. Oh. What? What? Oh, you're flying. Oh, this is how you get back up to the lands. It's a cutscene. <laughs> Penguin. Oh, 
Okay, so it looks like no more climbing. Towers. We just have to go to... The okay, and then that gives us the map. Oh. Sky map updated. Now you're in the air! You can accelerate, you can glide... Although, your ability to glide is based on how much stamina you have, so... That is something to keep in mind. Neat. Central Hyrule Sky Archipelago. Archipelago? Kazuntite. Coming in hot! Well, that was neat. Yeah, I, I like that. That's a much more fun way of doing the towers. So, uh -huh. welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So how did it go? Did you get the proper map scan? Uh -huh. Good, that map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Yes. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Okay. This is my pee pad. The first, northwest, the first report comes from Heber to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Drudor are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, the Lanaryu to the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated to these four regions. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Heber recently. Hmm. That's pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here directing the variety of investigations into the upheaval's many chasms and new ruins. I'll also be looking into some different villages. Someone, somewhere, might know what happened to the princess. Okay. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. I gotta find goggles! I have wait, a quest! Wait, I have wait, a quest! Wait, I have wait, a quest! Wait. I have a quest! What? Oh. Sorry, I can't talk now! There's something I gotta discuss with goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later! Okay. That was... okay. Alright. So now, the quest is regional phenomena. Mm -hmm. uh, Joshua heard a rumor that the princess might have been seen in Rito Village off in Hebra. So we'll be heading, I guess, towards Rito Village. And then there's this. Uh, princess Zelda remains a mystery. Per said you might learn something about looking at the Mark them on your map. And then, of course, we are trying to find Princess Zelda. Yes. Mostly. We're mostly trying to find Princess Zelda. Like, All right. right. Well, let's look at the map. So um, we have this lovely map. We do have a lovely map. Look at these little islands. I like how there's an X Not because islands. you died there. Look at these. Oh, shoot. <laughs> these little lakes, they make a little circle. Yeah, like like teeth. So we have all of these shrines. There's this, which is one of the chasms. Fun. Fun. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so obviously we want to be heading towards Rito. Yes. Um, because that seems like a good first stop. And the game is pushing us there. And generally, if the game's doing that, it's mm -hmm. probably worth doing. We can probably do... <laughs> we could probably do some of the shrines in the area? Didn't it say it updated the log for that when I talked to her? Or was that the regional phenomena? What are you talking about? Joshua. Where'd she go? She has a quest. But I, I, maybe you can't talk to her until oh. she gets 
Yeah, we'll give her a sec. Like, like literally a second here. Now that she's here, try talking to her. Whoa, it's you! You know, that pee pad of yours may seem perfect, but it could be even more perfect. I'll need to head back to the lab when Josh has got the depths investigation sorted out. Come on, Goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, um, yes. Sorry, you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end! But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? <laughs> Oh, Swordsman! Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Joshua, Head of Depths Research. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Uh-huh. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that the mysterious people once lived in the depths. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and you won't let me go. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. I will. I had plans. We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your pee pads camera to take a picture of it for Joshua. A perfect plan. You don't know about the camera? It's one of pee the pee pads basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the pee pad. <laughs> well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures, once we're down there anyway. There'll be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, you come find me there. Ta-ta! What? Wait, hang on! Hmm. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of the swordsmen. My name is Link. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Okay. Okay. Seems helpful. Oh, and take this too. Arrows. Okay. The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, uh, you'll want to head straight out of Lookout Landing Southern Gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about your ca about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Okay. Josh's profile has been added. I. I. I'm gonna head this way. You gonna go into the depths? I'm gonna head there. Okay. Let's see now. I think you've caused quite a stir since your arrival here. Get out of town. Ah, people do fuss, don't they? If this is your first visit, talk to that soldier in the center of our little fort. Or were you hoping to register a horse? <gasps> horses. We're still getting things together on that front, so I'm afraid you have to wait your horses. Hold your horses a while longer. If you register a wild horse as your own, you can call that horse to you at the stable whenever you please. At bigger roadside stables, not only can you register horses, but you can also stay the night. We didn't have room to build something that fancy here, but I did want a place I could take care of horses properly. Which is why Carson from Hudson Construction is planning to build us a mini stable. Once it's finished, you'll be able to register board and take out horses just like you would at any other stable. Who are you? I used to work at Rideau Stable in Hebra. I had a good job taking care of horses. But the cold there kept getting colder and business got slower in time we had to close. Last I heard, the place had been bought out by the Lucky Clover Gazette. Just when I was feeling adrift. Pura reached out to me about managing the horses here at Lookout Landing, and before I knew it, here I was. 
Be sure to bundle up. If you're going to Hebra, the cold over there is intense. So it's cold. It's Thanks, really cold. Thanks, Luster. Sorry, you're... Sorry, Mom says it's my turn with, with, with Zelda. The Zelda. With the Zelda. Um, okay, so here I am. There's a cart. <laughs> I jumped once. Your rusty shield is badly damaged. That does look like an actual automobile. Mm, there's someone pulling it. Like a horse, probably. Yeah. It's probably a horse. It's a horse. But from behind, I thought it was a car. Eek, what am I going to do? All my stock will be ruined. Where's a hero when I need one? I'm a hero. Let's see what I got. This thing. My shield is badly damaged. I'm literally attacking the horse. Didn't I kill the head, the head of I this one? I thought you did. Alright, we're safe. But give me all of this. I need the fangs. Just give me all the fangs. Alright, can you give me a present for being great? Hi there, welcome to Rolling Pastures. What a wide open prairie. The horses around here look so carefree as they graze and gallop. Do you know how to capture a horse, right? With a carrot? You sneak up on them very, very quietly from behind, and that's it. Ooh. Now, how about sampling some of Hot Nose Village, Hot Nose Village's finest? What do you sell? Got a good feeling you're gonna like my stock. Uh, Take a look. I don't have like any money. <gasps> Tomatoes. Ooh. Need anything else? Nah. Come again. Got it. Creepy arms. Creepy arms. It's a lot of creepy arms. Uh, so what shrine am I closest to? I well, guess... Well, you're heading towards Yellow Dot, so why don't you face Yellow Dot, yeah, and then head that way. Yeah, just go towards this one. This seems fine. Let me get some... Although, I suppose you're getting to Yellow Dot before the shrine. Oh, God. Oh. They want to say hi. They're the welcoming say... committee. Got him. Give me your jelly. There's also a beehive. Oh, here they come. Oh, no. Uh-oh. They gave up. I probably could have killed the bees. Maybe. But it's fine. What's up there? Oh. Yeah, the shrine's behind that. It's fine. I just won't fall mm -hmm. in. Dazzle fruit. Dazzle fruit. Yeah, I just, like, walk around this. Discovery! Hyrule Field Chasm! It's a big hole! I'm gonna walk around it because it's a big hole. No, Traveler, don't do it if you touch that well. It'll zap your strength and you'll end up like me, too sluggish to move. Don't touch. So d not even a little bit, like on the no. ground as a treat? No. What's the glowy thing to the right? to the right. That's a marker that we set, isn't it? Is it? Is it? I don't know. No, I think that's something else. Huh. I guess I'll go check that out at some point. In in the last game, wasn't there like meteorites? Stars? Yeah, yeah. Fun, yeah. So like, it's probably that. Yeah. But first this. I'm gonna go in here and do Whatever something. that is. I just need to get more health. Like, stamina's important, but stamina seems almost less important. Right now. Mm -hmm. Because, like, in the in the last game, stamina's like, oh, we need to climb. And in this game, it's like, oh, well, we can, like, fly. So health seems way more important. The shape rotation. Haley's good at shapes. Haley is an expert at shapes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's walk in this room. There's a shape. This is definitely a shape. I've seen a shape once or twice in my life, and this is a shape. Get, 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 get in the hole. Get in the hole. So this is, this is literally a, the children's, like, peg in the... Yeah. The hole. That's your bridge. Thing. Yeah, it's also a bridge. It's also... Let me 
Okay, and is there... No. Okay, so I just leave that there. Okay, so now it's time for more... Um, more shape. More shape. There's hole up there. Well, that's where the final part is, so you probably had to go right first. Okay, this is where it goes. Yeah. Watch what I can do. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I get that a lot. I'm always wowing people. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. This one's a little harder. All right. Are you good at shapes? I'm good at shapes. I'm good at shapes. Hold on. I just need to get good at shapes. So this goes here. Now this part looks... Wait. Hold on. What's... Uh... Can I climb this? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Are you mad that that worked? A little. Yeah, who wouldn't be? There's like stuff up there too. How do you get up there? Can I bring this up here? Like there, there is something up there, right? Like I'm not crazy? Mm -hmm. Can I just like grab this right here? Let me just little, give, give me a little of this. Hold on. Hold on, I'm good at shapes. Pull this back. I can't see good, but I know that I'm doing well. Hmm, yes. I know that I'm just, Attach. I just need... Hold on. Okay. This... It's not that I don't think that there's you know, no way to get up there, but it does not benefit me. No, it does not. Um, shapes, 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 shape, 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 Shape. Hold on. Shape. 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 Mm. Shape. <sighs> shape. 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 <sighs> shape. 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 You already tried that. Shape. Shape. Shape, 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 shape. Okay, listen, it's time to do it my way. <laughs> get in the hole. Just get... It won't work, will it? I'm gonna have to... Okay, hold on. I need this... Sorry, am I an idiot? I just... <laughs> like, this is the sort of thing where like people are like, well, we didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Where, what shape? What shape is the shape? Where's <laughs> it's the only track. No, it's not. This one's different. Where? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. So wait, if I, if I, if, if I, that, that ain't it, though. So it's gotta, it's gotta be like this? No, it's, is it, I'm sorry, why, am I stupid? Am I? <laughs> Am I? Could I, is is my? This is making me feel really stupid, because this is like Shrine Two or whatever, and it's like just put it in the hole, and I'm like, yeah, I got it, and now I'm like, this is impossible. I've never, I don't know. Like I, I understand.
You ready? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, I will not be defeated by evil. <laughs> How is that going to help? I will not be defeated by evil. Sorry, I just... I, I refuse... Get up there. Oh, it's so, it's so much tired than I thought it was. <laughs> Maybe it'll make more sense on this side. It'll probably make more sense on this side. If I, if I, okay, so I see the shape. All right, so I see, I see, okay. All right, so let's do. Oh my God, you're so close. You're so, oh, no, no. It was easier on this side, in fairness. I couldn't understand it on the other side. It didn't make any sense. Oh god, I almost died. That's not in a good spot. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't really making a whole lot of sense to me. And probably no one else watching, too. They're probably like, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't, that's really confusing. But this side, a lot better. Why can't I get up this? Grab the treasure chest. And then, like, that shield anyway. Where's, yeah, where's the treasure chest? <laughs> this is not how they want you to do it. I'm like, I don't care. This is, this is how I have chosen. This is a sandbox for me to do things incorrectly. Get up there. Climb, climb a little. Just give it, give it one ounce of effort, Linkus. <laughs> I thought I could climb this before, but I clearly didn't climb it. So now I'm like, well, how did I do this? How did... How did I do... Get... Stop doing that! <laughs> climb a little! Just get... Okay, alright. Alright. I have no idea how to do this. I clearly need to move this. Why is this... I need to, like, move it. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, I need the chest. I forgot about the chest. Put this here. Got it. Alright. Jump, jump. Don't fall, don't fall, please God. All right, perfect, exactly as the developers intended and I didn't mess up any part. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank God they put that chest there. I don't think I could have beaten this if I didn't have the chest. May oh, you know what? In retrospect, I feel so stupid. I probably should have um, ultra-handed some nuts to the thing to climb it. I could have made a little staircase with nuts. I'll remember that for next time. That I can just, like, nut my way to the top. Okay. Anyway, we got another, um... We got ourselves another gemstone to get rid of our... Um, burn. Hey, that's two, right? Yeah. Hell Half yeah, light. that's right. We're almost, we're almost to another heart. <laughs> it's a game within a game. Steven identifies shapes. I think you need to play more, um, like, Elmo games. Elmo say, turn the black! <laughs> N no, other way! No, you tried that. Uh, uh, you did that That's one. That's the same way. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. Elmo concerned. Elmo gonna go get a coffee. <laughs> Elmo don't think you'll be done by the time Elmo gets back. Elmo won't miss anything. <laughs> yeah, Elmo was right. <laughs> It's 
take a break. <laughs> you need a break? Just you take, want some uh, sparkling just water? Just take a little break. Have a drink. I could use a snack. A, a snack? I need some sugar. Anyway, can I hit C? There we go. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Ascend. <laughs> I'm just like trying to imagine how Ascend would have helped me. Well, you couldn't get to that block. You could have ascended up through the block. Oh. I am going to forget Ascend. Frog. We all lost months of our lives. You know how on uh, Princess Bride, when they like suck away the lives, it's like that. That's how I felt. <laughs> Do you want to go get a sweet? Yeah. Go get a sweet. Bye. But if you get a sweet, bring me a sweet. There's Kobe. Oh yeah, I'll bring myself back. Oh, that's sweet, but also d d don't. I mean, do bring yourself back, but bring me a, like a chocolate. I don't know what she'll do. Oh, he's... He's like, wait, whoa, 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 there could be food. <laughs> One true and gifted a sub to Demi Godemery. Did I read that right? I think I did. We had 28 months from Larry C. 24, 28 months from Maya Hilo, 11 months from Cordelia. Five hundred bits from Mr. Gameboy, it says Stephen. Uh, Mal, you should learn the combat. Uh, the buttons are something you need to learn. It's only been a week, Mal. Do you know how shapes work? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that up on my screen so Mal can read that when she gets back. She will love that. 34 months from the Legend of Daniel. 15 months from Jonathan. Uh, 300 bits from uh, Andy who says, Congratulations to Action Cat 7 for being our third bingo winner. What horrible creation does she win? I'm also gonna wait for Mal. I think I like the idea of us each coming up with separate words and then making it work together. Um, so I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do for that. Uh, we also had uh, 100 bits from Etrian Persona. Appreciate it, thank you. Hello, Eddie. Sure. Their mascot is a pleased lizard, Tiny Eddie's chromatic honey cream pies. Is that canon? Their mascot is a pleased lizard? That was a bit from Tiny Ace of Kitties. I need an Eddie meal to celebrate the, the end of my 10th year of teaching. Oh, wow. Here's to a summer of Zelda and sleeping. Hey, congratulations. Ten years is a long time for teaching. Like, if you made it a decade of teaching, you did really good. Three cheers for teachers. Uh, that was uh, chromatic honey cream pies. Honey cream pies. Honey cream pies. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to move on. 300 bits from King Curran says, Stephen describing after all that how he could build a literal nutcase and not anything else is sending me. <laughs> it is something I need to keep in mind, that if I need to build a staircase, I can do it out of nuts. So I need to hold on to as many nuts as possible in case I need to do that. Uh, three bits from Reed, says, Oh, Steven, never changed, my friend. I think the saddest part is that, like, that wasn't a bit. Like, I could not figure out how to get that in the hole. Once I was on the other side, it looked a lot easier. And I don't know why it looked easier. <sighs> Listen, I'm sure that that will be the only puzzle in the entire game that stumps me. Probably. Uh, 500 Bits Mini Night says, I had to get a drink because of how you did that puzzle. Yeah, I, my apologies to everyone who uh, was like, oh, I'm going to need a stronger drink for this stream. <laughs> Are Steven and Mouse streams good? I mean, yeah, they're good, but they will cause you to drink. I'm sorry. 500 Bits from Captain Joe 08. Captain Joe, thank you. We got 500 bits of bell money. He says, Stephen, I think we all need to know. Do you know what to do when presented with a red octagon while driving? Is it stop? 
it stop, right? Oh, that is not a good snack for stream at all. Isn't it? No. Oh, one one one. where you can't talk and have to suck on a candy for 10 minutes? <laughs> I thought briefly that those were down there, but I was like, ah, Mal won't grab that, because that's the worst thing to eat on stream. Mm -hmm. Chaz, I can't help her. Like, I don't know what to mm -hmm. do. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Three and a bit from Robolena says, you truly ascend at this game, Steven. Clown. Thanks. Uh, also, I wanted to leave this up so you saw, saw this. Mr. Game Boy said, Mao, you should learn the combat. And you said, do you know how shapes work? <laughs> it's fine. And we also have to uh, come up with a bingo uh, creation. So we'll each come up with a word. I think you can manage one word in the midst of eating the 10 minute candy. You got a word? Mm-hmm. Good thing there's two duets in the queue. <laughs> Ready? Oh my god. What was my word? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have I a have a word. Okay. Three Two, one. Brush. Helicopter. Brush? Mm -hmm. Brush. A brush and a helicopter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a special, it's a special thing that's got multiple brushes on it. Mm -hmm. And you, it, it's, it runs on 3D batteries. Yes. And, and you go, and it goes, and it brushes your hair like pretty violently. With uh, with the, with the brush, with the brushes, mm -hmm. and it's like the top of a, a helicopter blade. Yeah, fast brush. Yeah. So um, that's a, I think that's a great prize. Could also be used maybe as a weapon. Terrible for long hair. It's not efficient for long hair. Is this patently stupid? I gotta keep that in mind for my for the next time we play. What was that about building a stairwell of nuts, Stephen? Stephen's full of ideas. Some of them are... <laughs> building a stairwell. And that wouldn't get you far. It's made of acorns. Also known as nuts. That's the good plan. Until you fall on your butt, because it's probably rounded and you'd slip, because I assume that walking on nuts is hard. <laughs> I've never walked on anyone's, uh, on, <laughs> on nuts. I've never placed my feet onto, onto nuts before. Although I guess it'd be a good way to crack a walnut, if you did it carefully. Sorry, it's fine. Uh, that was 5,000 bits from Gabriel. What's that about building a stairwell? I mean, it's just nice to know that I have that as a as a backup. Mm. You know, in case I forget that there is a scent, I can just build a stairwell. It's fine. Karenson Brambo says, don't worry. You don't need to remember a scent. You have nuts. Yep. Oh, my God. Explain how a scent would have helped Mal. Would have. Oh, you. You explain how a scent would have. How would it have helped? You just ascend through the log. And then you're up high. That would have worked. Unless I would have died. That's it. <laughs> you get stuck in the block. And you're still stuck in the block. Now here, let me help you put one of these. No, not grape. Out. I don't like grape. I'll eat the yellow one. I'm like, this this will be of assistance, because like if you're if you don't have a line, you can just put one of these in. Mm -hmm. I don't want this. We can't both eat those. <laughs> Communion wafers. What kind of church? 
hands out sweet tarts. That's five thousand bits from private butter for Christ's sake. So explain how a send would have helped, Mal. <laughs> Step one, send. Step two, you're done. <laughs> That's the song. Oh, he emerges from this side now. <laughs> Jeez. Dreamer Persona gifted the sub to Jack Daniels TV. 23 months from History Master. Anonymous Gifter gifts a sub to Carolyn Magic. 300 bits from PK Gaming Omega says, There were definitely some shrines that made me feel dumb in this game, but that wasn't one of them. Good luck! You just know Dan is going to write something incredible on that episode. Introducing our latest snack, Tiny Eddie's Roasted Taco Buddies. Aw, Taco Buddies. Taco Buddies is kind of so like... Is that like, like Chex Mix with uh, taco seasoning? I would eat that. We had Mushroom Buddies. Why not Taco Buddies? Thousand Bits from Omega. She says, I think I could use a snack right now, but I'm not ready to cook. Eddie, teach me your ways. Roasted Taco Buddies. Chex Mix... With taco seasoning. Cumin. And cayenne. And... I know there is There's more. more. I must know by the break of June. Yeah. Omega. Thank you. Also, maybe get some Chex Mix and put some taco seasoning on it. It doesn't seem that bad. Let's do some cooking. For gold lighting. Step one. Banana. Ale. Some salt. Whipped cream, yellow choo choo jelly. This is like flambéed. Cranky Kong's dirty banana. That's not a phrase that I've ever said. <laughs> Until now. Until now. Uh huh. I don't think I want to try Cranky Kong's dirty banana. No, no. I don't know where it's been. There's a thousand bits from Gold Lighting. Thank you. Eight months from Tranquil 445. <laughs> Thomas means more than one thing. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. Let's do some cooking for Tranquil 445. Sure. A trout, a shroom, a noodle. That's pretty straightforward. CJ's Sneaky Fish Linguini. Sneaky fish. That's cute. CJ is from uh, Animal, Animal Crossing. Crossing. Man, remember Animal Crossing? Yes. Rem remember Linguini? No, that's new. Uh, Tranquil, thank you. Three bits from Kobo says, I've arrived a bit late and I'm learning that apparently Stephen doesn't know how shapes work and may be causing people to start drinking. That is exactly what has happened. Let's do some cooking instead. Tiger Tiger 413. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that hurt. That actually, I can feel the pain. I can feel the pain in my chest. It came up and I thought that something was wrong. It was just, it was just the bass. More like a C plus. <laughs> Chaz, oh Lord, I never tested my system with only one ingredient. Glad that worked. You scared me, Thomas. Thomas, oh, got him. Ch when Chaz was explaining the system to me, he was like, you can add between two and five ingredients. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. So when it came up with one, I was like, huh. Interesting. Chaz, you're, you're, Thomas didn't even know. Thomas was like, oh. Chaz, you, you programmed it even better than you thought. <laughs> Good work all around. Good work. Oh my God. Tiger, Tiger, thank you. You are great. Three different action cats says, as someone with long hair, I am scared, but amazed. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to have to get some, uh, Spin cube. cube! I was gonna say I have to get a haircut, but I could probably just put my head inside Spin Cube. 2500 from Wombat, because why not? Oh, the trivia about the mammal reminded me that I was recently at Fripp Island, 
guess this counts as an unsolicited hint as well. Shape, shape. Rip Island. Also, uh, all hail Spin Cube. It's been a while since we've seen Spin Cube. It's always good to see Spin Cube. Spin Cube. If it, if only Spin Cube were with us now. Yeah. Spin Cube didn't survive the move. Uh, Spin Cube had an accident, so it's really more like Spin Stick. <laughs> so let's just all remember. Um, I feel like this will be personally upsetting to Haley. It's yeah. fine. Um, listen, the move is hard on all of us. Uh, Spin Cube li lives on in in the uh, in the streams forever. It's fine. Wombat, thank you. Uh, Bella wanna gifted a sub to Step On Me, Senpai. <laughs> oh no. Let's do some cooking. You killed my son. It's fine. Thousand bits for PK Daisy to do some cooking. Uh, you start with some raw prime meat. You do a coffee. A bird egg. Oh. Little Max knockout coffee. Protein! I don't know that I would put an egg in my coffee. You could put a raw egg in the shell and it would hard boil it or soft boil it. Although if a if an egg was like boiled in coffee and it took on a coffee flavor, I would try that. That may not be so bad. What if you like... Thomas says, you get it? That's a Rocky reference. Cause you can like take eggs and then put them in like soy sauce to like get that flavor. Like to put them in ramen. What if it was coffee instead? I mean, yeah, I would do that. It would be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Pika Daisy, thank you. 5,000 from could probably sing a funeral song for Spin Cube. Didn't Brandon find that today? Spin Cube is no more. Spin Cube's kind of sick. Spin Cube move to the new house. Spin Cube's just a stick. <laughs> just spinning round. E but still makes annoying sounds. Oh, Spin Cube isn't with us, but Spin Cube is still kind of here. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't. I don't really like this as I only just now was like, you know what? Let's put this away. Let's let's put this away. That's You know Never mind, never mind. Uh, I think I think that needs to stay off of stream now. It's fine. It's it's fine. It only it only just dawned on me. It's fine. Uh that's five thousand from Gabobli. Sing his funeral song for Spin Cube. We did, and um Spin Cube is is, is fine. It's fine. Let's do some cooking instead. I want to do some. Let's do some some cooking. Shopkeeper cat cooking. A scale, an avocado, a jalapeno. I thought that was a macaroni. Uh, it's a, a macaroni. Some yellow choo choo jelly, and you get guacamole and uh, chips. 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 Is that the scale? The scale yeah. is the chips? That feels like that would cut your mouth wide yeah, open. Yeah, it would. That's fine. Why, thank you, Brandon. Shopkeeper Cat, thank you. Uh, we got 53 months from Jennifer Jack. Appreciate it. It's time to do a little more cooking for the leaf. 473. Sure. Let's take a look at what we got. If you take an egg, love that start. Some prime meat. Good addition. Yellow choo choo jelly. We'll do good guts. Wasabi. Steak and eggs with a creamy hollandaise sauce. A spicy Ooh. hollandaise sauce? A little bit. Yeah. A little, little, little kick bit. to it. Mm -hmm. A little kick to it with wasabi. <laughs> yeah, three ninety nine at the strip club. <laughs> Wish I was making that up. Leaf, thank you. We got 500 bits from History Master. It says, but do we have these nuts? D's staircase. All right, let's do some cooking for my Hilo. If you fairy? take a fairy, add a potato, 
Throw in some noodles. Oh, it's so much. Look and at the claw. carbs. The claw. Yeah, fairies are high in carbs. Marathoner carbo load. I was like, we had a potato and noodles, and I was like, it's a lot of carbs, yeah. man. It's a great... <laughs> I mean, I like carbs. I'll eat, I'll eat the crap out of a potato. My Hilo, thank you. It's time to do some cooking for Caruso. Sure. Let's take uh, a giant ancient core, some tofu, goat butter, and a star fragment. Oh yeah, we have to go get a star fragment. Uh, I can see through fried tofu. Oh no. <coughs> oh no. Thomas says, I think I meant to write time in there. I can see through the fried tofu. <laughs> Send. Ah, <laughs> you. I can see through tofu. <laughs> Listen, Thomas, you did great. It's fine. We love it when the person who wrote it is here. Thomas says, I wrote 150 of these things. I love that the person is here who wrote it. So when Caruso was like, all right, let's get a thing. And it's like, hmm, this is a little strange. Thomas is like, oh, it's missing a word. That's, that's, that's mine. Sorry, teacher. That's mine. I wrote that one. And I did mean to put the word time in there. It's great. Pastry Bear plays. Let's take a look at another one. If we have bacon, love bacon, egg, love egg, cheese, oh my god, wheat, is this a, be a bacon, egg, and cheese? Oh, milk, what does that change it to? Chunk of Conroy's bacon, togepi, and cheese biscuits. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, it's probably fine. Yeah. Would Amelia, would Amelia the Togepi? <laughs> Anyone would if they're hungry enough. Patriot Bear Place, thanks. Let's do cooking for Omega. I, I bet Togepi's are delicious. It's true. Uh, a hearty blue shell snail. A sausage. An ice key swing. Mustard. Ooh, sausage and mustard. Was this a trip to the Costco? Ballpark hot dog combo. I'm not, not terribly far, far off. off. Mm -hmm. I love ballpark hot dog. I do love going to the ballpark and having a hot dog. But I enjoy doing it at the Costco more because it's only a dollar fifty. Yeah, it is. Omega, thank you. We got twenty-nine months from uh PK Daisy. Appreciate it. Let's do another cooking for Caruso. What we got here? How about rice? I like rice. Jam. I like jam. <laughs> Electric Safflina. A little iffy on that one. And fleet load the seeds to get. Uh huh. Does everyone like my jelly filled donuts? <laughs> you get it? You get it? <laughs> you about elbowed me in the face. No, I, I have good spatial awareness. I know where you are. God. Thank you, Caruso. And let's do some cooking for Captain Joe08. How about coffee? I love coffee. Yes. Shrooms. I love shrooms. Truffles. Truffles are fine. Yeah. I don't mind They're truffles. like mushrooms. Mother Gaia espresso shot. Oh. That sounds like it would cost $12.99 at a coffee shop. Just sounds expensive. Captain Joe, thank you. We got a cooking from History Master. Uh, a mango. Ooh. God, I haven't had a mango in so long. A cricket. A fang. Glob. Sticky glob. Fresh. Fell on the grocery store floor fruit salad. That's so hard to say. Fresh fell on the grocery store floor fruit salad. Floor fruit is very difficult. Floor fruit. Floor fruit. Floor fruit. Floor fruit. Floor fruit. Floor fruit. History mm -hmm. Master, thank you. Uh, let's do a little cooking for seemingly just. Lots of cook cookings. We want lots of cookings. Rice, sure. Extract, 
Sure. Uh -huh. Salmon, big fan of salmon. And wasabi, getting a lot of little, little spicy things tonight. E Honda's spicy hundred hand bitch slap rice balls. It's my best E Honda impression. It's a smack of flavor. Thank you, Jess. Uh, I got a thousand from Caruso. Let's do a little cooking for Caruso. Apple. Banana. Bass. Palm fruit. Ooh, palm fruit. Has that come up yet? I don't know. Finger licking fruit fish. I have had mango fish. Yeah. I don't know. I've had a lot of other, like, fruit fish, but, like, mango fish does work. So I bet you could make other things like that work. Haley, what the hell? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I just looked up into chat. Yeah. Like, I'm not looking at chat. I'm, like, reading the things, and I just look back at chat. It's like, I'll slap your balls. And I'm like, we have to move on. We have to move on. Thank you, Caruso. Three and a bit from just some old man who says, uh, Will I be see you <laughs> Peace. Three and a from just some old man says, Three words. Blank, blank, blank. Odecoilius vir virginianus. Vir virginianus. <laughs> It's so hard to say. Virginianus? Odacoilius. I had that right. Mm -hmm. Virginianus. Much different from vir what I said. Is the scientific name of what common local mammal? Hint, they will emerge more from the woods in June, and they have white fur on their backside. Skunk. Yeah, skunk, probably. Probably skunk. That sounds correct. Chaz, why did I just Oh, white-tailed deer is a really good answer. Oh, yeah. I like that answer better than skunk, to be fair. So, Why did I just get a notification yeah, just white, that white Chaz tilted. ran a 5K? It probably happened earlier. I doubt <laughs> Chaz ran a 5K during this stream. Unless, unless Chaz, when he saw me get started with the shapes, Chaz saw me get started with the shapes and was like, I've got time and just <laughs> ran a 5K. Three hundred bits. Crusoe says this clone has arrived. What did I miss? Nothing. Don't worry about no, it. Nothing. I didn't. I don't no. worry about it. Please do not watch me struggle with shapes for ten minutes. Oh, it's bad. Satisfy your savory tooth with Tiny Eddie's meaty, herbaceous, ferocious pudding. Oh, that's that's a lot of words. Those are words from Caruso. Let's have an Eddie for old times' sake. Satisfy your savory tooth. I do have a savory tooth. All of them. Uh, Tiny Eddie's meaty, herbaceous, ferocious pudding. Oh, meaty pudding. Hmm. I don't think I want meat pudding. No. It's not really for me. Bellamon gifted us up to Loud Stick. It is a Loud Stick. 300 from Reed says, is floor fruit going to be the new thermodynamic? Dy <laughs> oh, God. You can say floor fruit. I know. I can say floor fruit. I Thermodynamics. I can say thermodynamics yeah. also. I just stumbled for a, like a, a brief moment. Super Bowl... Mm -hmm. Super Bowl oil pies. Super Bowl oil pies. Super Bowl oil pies. I'm, I'm, I'm good. There's currently no words in existence that trip me up. I, I eagerly await to find out what's next. Three different Will Peters just says, you know, it gets me about the rice balls to jelly donuts thing. They didn't even change it to make it look like jelly donuts. Something they would do later on when they changed the giant rice ball into a sandwich, for example. Yeah, uh, they're, know, they're lazy. Part of me is like, well, maybe they just didn't know how big it would be, but yeah. I, I think the show had been out for a bit. Maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, 36 months for more turtle. Hey, congrats on the three. Bella Bunny gifted a sub to slap my balls too. <laughs> the sequel. 300 from Will Peters just says, because of the shape uh, debacle, does Steven need to go back to preschool? Probably. I've kind of suspected for some time that you need to go to preschool. And this is okay. uh, kind of confirming that. Three and a from Caruso, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Actually, it's not what it says. It says the, the, the A and the R are swapped, so it's supercalifragilistic. This is one word I can spell, so I, I know I know the, the spelling. Anyway, Caruso, thank you. I can say those words. Mm -hmm. Let's look at some art. Well, we reach hot now. Check out all the shops. Enhanced our headwear. 
I do feel like there's still something we should be doing. Wait, you think we've got some? Maybe. <laughs> Meanwhile, the horse. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting the tentacle monster um, to show it up. It was like the guardian hands. I didn't like that. Yeah. <laughs> Elspeth exercising her mod powers like her father. <laughs> no groins. <laughs> I love that art. That's wonderful. Oh she my would. God. Better a hammer than a knife. A little yeah. safer. Okay, let's do um, another one, though, because uh, it's not 11. Therefore, we're legally allowed to do another one. We're legally allowed to do another one. I'm pretty sure. I've decided right now, and Chaz hasn't um, put up, like, a big stop sign on the screen, which he can do, and he didn't, so it's probably fine. All right, so let's pause this. And go to this. And do this. I need to get the thing sorted out at some point. What? The, um... Bezel. Oh. It's a setting. I just need to make it happen. Donut time is 11? Oh, yeah, I put it on my count, my thing. Did you put it on the group one? No, I didn't put it on the calendar. I put it in a, remi a reminder. I was like, remind me oh. at 11 a.m. to get a donut because I really am serious about donuts. I haven't had a donut in a long time. And I think that I am, I deserve a donut. <laughs> it's donut time, man. Uh, okay. Are you uh, ready? <laughs> Go for it. What were we doing? I don't remember. Um. Oh. Chaz, you void. You void. He's running his 5k. You void. You void. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, What's this? Didn't I mark shrines? Or is that the the light? The light was here, I thought. Oh, that was the light. Is the light still there? No. Oh. You want to remove that pin? That must be, um... That must be stars from, like, the first game. Mm. How the stars would fall. That's probably what that is, so... So I think you maybe put the red thing marker out that way? Uh... For a shrine? Well, I think you put it for this shrine. What shrine? The one we just did. Oh. Because, like, there's nothing here. Ah, I... Ah! Oh, my God, the trees are alive. I don't think you can kill it. I think you just, like, climb it. Oh, no, it can hurt you. Oh, my God. No, it has health. Oh, it's gonna... Man, you know what? Playing Earthbound prepared me for this moment. Like, I was like, first I was like, oh, the tree's alive. Then I was like, well, of course it is. If anything, I'm I'm surprised it didn't explode into a fireball. Okay, we got a high tail lizard. Acorns. Chickaloo tree nut. A, th a sturdy thick stick. You gonna get rid of a... Put my soup ladle can't believe you hate soup. Anyway, I'm glad I came over here to look at this marker of yours. I clearly wanted you to be alarmed by that tree. Yeah. Boom. Uh, check it out. There's a camera right there. You're, you what? got, you got pranked, bro. You got, um, what's the, where they, what is it they say on that what show? Say? The guy was on the show. Remember they did the show? In the, it was in the 2000s, they did the show. Who? With the guy. He was on the show. It was like MTV. I didn't have cable. But it wasn't It wasn't a prank. It had called, they had a thing. Punked! Punked. With Ashton Kutcher. Sorry, I got there. there. I got there. You got punked. That's the show. Did you ever talk to that man? No, I'm talking to this man. Okay. Huh. 
I think you were voicing Bonnie. Traveler, are you feeling okay? Folks are calling this stuff gloom. If you care about your health, it's best not to go near it. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength. It's like it's sapping your life away. Mm. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. You'll recover from the worst of it on your own, little by little, as long as you're on the surface. While you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Mm. Some investigation leader I turned out to be. This is just pitiful. I'm completely reliant on Duvall, so I really should want... I really want to recover by nighttime. Interesting. So you will recover from gloom if you get in the in up onto the surface. Yes. But if you're down there, you don't recover. So that's kind of scary. Hey there, you're a bit late. Oh, you're not a member of the monster control crew. Sorry, we just formed, so we're not overly familiar with everyone's faces. As we speak, the leader of one of the monster control crew led by Haas is carrying out a mission nearby. If you go south on that road, you can see them in action. They're assaulting a monster stronghold. I'm just here for logistical support, tending to the horses, making elixirs. Come to think of it, I did make some extra elixir. Why don't you take some? Might come in handy during your travels. Uh-huh. Sneaky. Sneaky. Mm. Candidly, I'm a little worried about this mission. The new members didn't get much in the way of training. I wish someone with experience fighting monsters was there to help out. Well, we don't know anyone like that. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied to deal with travelers right now. That's what you are, right? A traveler? It isn't safe here. Captain Haas's squad of the monster control crew is going to engage the monsters around here soon. I bet you by now they're already locked in combat with the monsters at the lair to the south. I'm not going to stop you if you, want to t if you want to go watch the sparks fly, but at least take some precautions first. Eh. Wow, you're very talented to read <laughs> the back of that sign. Taking out monsters south of here by the Hyrule Garrison Ruins, Captain Haas, Monster Control Screw Squad 1. So what is your current mission? Is well, getting... I wasn't sure exactly what this group was. I want to go in here. So you want to go in hole. I want to go in the hole. Maybe, okay. What? No, you're good. What's this guy just... have to say? I'm... I see Robbie's down there. Whoa! <laughs> Hey, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the end of a chasm. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Huh? He'd break oh, your fall. Don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. So, so I you... just jump in. Oh my god, you're doing it. Oh my god, this is like a hole. They have made that abundantly clear. Oh my god! It's a hole! Like, that's a deep hole! What the crap? I'm here. The depths. Oh, that's scary. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough blight boom seeds, and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? Uh. Oh, that's no good at all. Light from no, the surface do. doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. It's incredibly dangerous to explore here without a light source. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, and they'll light up if struck, so they're pretty easy to use, too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Hold material. Hold... Okay. You can just throw things. Mm -hmm. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. Yeah. Okay. Although this time, Robbie grabbed me in such a rush that I didn't gather enough in advance. But we have some, so it's fine. Also, Can I take this one? Oh, that one's like on. It's in the on position. Alright, there is nothing here otherwise. Like, it dark. That's so it. So, do you have a mission? I gotta find Robbie. So, Robbie's just down here. Yeah, there you go. Man, I can, like, look at these, like, firefly things. Can I collect them? I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can. It's 
high up in the air. Let's see if I can go after this one. Deep Firefly, a multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. Neat. So then you could make an elixir where you just glow. Yes. You should, so what did they say? This and then... You should try throwing one because they said that you could throw it. So if you select it, then you get... No, don't, don't, don't have a bow. Just press up. And then R. Wait, how do you do it? There. Oh, you have to start by being in the throw. Okay. That seems better because you're not using arrows. Nisoji Light Root. Let's commune with this. Is this a shrine? No, the shrines are probably on land. This is probably something different. Sorry, the... The fact that they said earlier that chasms have opened up all over Hyrule means that there's these areas that, I guess, are everywhere. Sorry, Tears of the Kingdom is a lot bigger than I thought, because not only is it the normal land, and then, like, uppies, which we learned from, like, the... Because we've only seen, like, one trailer. Yeah. So I, I knew that, you know, there was, like, the sky stuff, but the the depths is new. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. So there's like three maps. Jesus. Okay. Neat. So, where is that guy? He's over... Th no, he's not. Can you climb weird trees? Yeah. Ain't nothing stopping you from climbing weird trees. There's a book, too. Hey, you. It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. This is probably Robbie. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, Good I'm off know. to the glowing root I see shining west of here, so you better hurry up and get moving. I just assume it's the same guy. Oh, good. Bloom. You do have your Wee. your paraglider now. I do. So you scared them all away. Hey, you still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. You get too close to that stuff, and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, I'd hit big curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here, and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll be continuing to head west towards one of those glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon! Well... This place is, like, fascinating and also very horrifying. Yeah. You gonna throw something before you die? There you go. Yeah. Live. Ooh, bomb flowers. We never did use those as yeah. intended because we cooked yeah. one. But I'm guessing that you'd like throw it or something. Oh, there's like critters down here. I mean, which you know. Yeah. Of course there is. Take. You're, instead of just walking around, you <laughs> jumped over the gloom, and I was like, that seems dangerous, but okay. Oh, you've got underground friends. Time to see um, how good your combat skills are. Or you can just spank them. Oh, big man. Hey, big man. Oh my god. Oh, that's really bad. You should be very careful. 
and not get hit down here. Did you see what yeah, happened? Yeah, I did. Okay, just making sure that you understand the gravity of the situation. You cannot regain health down here. Oh, that's very scary. Food will not help you here. Okay, you took care of him, but watch out because there is still a sniper. Yeah. Moblin horn. A hard horn that... Sorry, I'm concerned. <laughs> Extra durable. Thick stick. Hey, the Traveler Sword Sword! It's a good sword. Sword. That fell over there doesn't even know what's going on. So nice, I Woo! sliced him twice. Hey, you survived. And we learned something very valuable. Um, don't get hit down here. Yes. Because losing your maximum hearts is very bad. It's not good, and also it's like, bad. We're trying to hit that, not climb it. Large. High purity, higher power output. Hmm. This game has lots of um, yes things. Oh, there's some of those there too. God, there's a lot of stuff. Muddlebud, a wildflower with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Let's go back to my sword sword. Traveler's sword sword. I do like sword sword. I do too. Well, that was that. Oh, mm -hmm. there's another one. Dang it. Don't worry. Now you're all set on Zone Knight. Now I can go back to Sword Sword. You want to continue? I mean, that's, it's, it's that's like, the direction. It's legally. Yeah, there's something flying. It's legally my turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's uh, definitely a demon. Yeah. It's definitely a demon, and I am filled with fear. So I'm just going to take a quick look, but my assumption is that it is impossible to get my health back because I have to get over the gloom by being at the surface. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably not even going to try this yeah. because it doesn't do anything. I want to see what it will do, though. Gloom damage will not be recovered. You still want to eat it. Okay. So it even tells you. It warns you, which is kind of nice. Uh, all right. Let me just get, 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 get on up Get on up here. Get on up. Um, can I destroy... Yeah, can't you lift those and, like... It, yeah, it start, I mean, it used to work that way. It still does. Some arrows. Might as well grab them. Arrow. This is gross, man. This is... There's, yeah. It's This is a lot. This is a lot. That this, way. I know. I know. Okay. Just another demon spawn Manic to kill. Monday? <laughs> Just another manic Monday. <laughs> love, love to be in the depths. I do want to try out the bomb flowers. I feel like I haven't done that. Yet. Yeah. I'm assuming I just, I can probably do it like this then. Uh, let me sort. Type by fuse attack power, most used. There they are. Zonai devices. And then type. They're like fifth. Oh, interesting. This probably will Throw not. Throw it in the center of the dragonflies. It's kind of mean. Go get them. I don't think I get their bodies. I think that they're dead. Anyway, those are bombs. So you can throw bombs yeah. like that. It's interesting that you can throw materials like that. Oh, I started to fire. It's 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 gone. gone. Uh, okay, neat. Very neat. Um, I want to get back to the thing. They're there. There's a lot of yeah. bad things around. I don't want the attention of that man, but I do want to deal with this. If I can deal with that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't want to waste any of this stuff. I just want to shoot this thing.
That did not work. I guess I'm just going to have to, like, go over here. Now, when I did the last one, there was an explosive barrel. Is there an explosive barrel there? He sees you. Well, he thinks he sees me. He does. He does know where I am. Oh, I'm standing next to a source of light. Oh, for the love of God. Uh, bomb arrow? I got a bunch of these. They seem to grow down here. It doesn't seem like a huge problem. Whoa, ho, ho, welcome to hell. Oh, he has fire arrows. Shoot. Oh god, 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 oh god. What the piss is everything's alive! Not for long, not if I have anything to do with it. What are you? Go back to hell! Go get their body. I will, but like, I need a moment. I only have two You're hearts. Safe. Fuck. Okay. The, the winged demon. Oh, they come out of those things. Out of what things? It was like, it was a spore. What in God? What the best is going on? It's that thing you didn't kill. Good hit, it's dead. That thing can spit- You got a thing on the tower still. Yeah, I know. That thing can like spit bombs or something? I don't know what's going on. Seems like a bad- What's that? Great, love that that's happening. Aracuda Aracuda. wing. A large, wide Aracuda wing. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached even in a slight wind. That's, that's cool yeah. to know. He's gonna shoot, and he have he have bomb. Does he, I think I don't know if he's bombed. Does he? His... It pretty much blew up. Did it? Yeah. See? Okay, yeah, those are bombs. Those seem bomb-like. Oh, he's lost you. Yeah, I know. I need to just take a chill pill for a moment because I need to like win this battle and um sometimes you win with stealth see you in hell mm, stealthy okay. listen i did what i had to do i only have two hearts and everything down here is like horrifying uh did i grab all the little goodies and stuff the goodie bag the goodies that i needed sorry yeah. I'm, I'm close to this so i'm gonna touch it It made me feel something, so sometimes feeling something is important. Why is this all? Don't know. It's normal. Okay, everything's good. Everything's Just good. Stuff to the right. Eyeball. eyeball. This eyeball is constantly trying to focus on its targets. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir, or attach it to an arrow to grant a homing quality there. That's right. Keys keys eyes do the same thing. They they're homing arrows. Remembering all of this stuff is very difficult, but I will try to do that. Is everything good now? Yeah. Give me this. Don't destroy the Zonite. We, as far as I can tell, really want the Zonite. The rock hammer is badly damaged, but there is another rock hammer nearby. <sighs> Hold on, I need to do this because the darkness is making me terribly uncomfortable. Uh. Da -da -da. Sure, that helps a little bit. Rock hammer broke. But there was one right... Straight I, ahead. I uh, didn't imagine it. It's right here. Okay. Got a spare rock hammer. Pick these up. Sure can. Oh, there was an explosive up there. Well, cool. Great. Love that. Sorry, I'm just looking for Koroks. Down here? No, I guess they probably wouldn't be down here. Okay. They'd be uh, attack Koroks. Oh, please don't tell me that. That's the only thing worse than a normal Korok. Little bud. I did get through a portion that seemed, like, scary. So at this point, they probably won't give me more scary. Right? Maybe. Probably. 
Maybe. This all seems fine and safe. I'm trying to get to that thing. Yes. Probably didn't need this, but that's fine. It makes me feel safe, and sometimes feeling safe is the best. Is thing. the most important part. Uh huh. It doesn't matter if you already are safe. I need to feel safe. If I can't feel safe, then that's bad. If you go touch that, you will light up everything. I know, but listen, I just need to get there. Just let me. Just let me. Just, just let me do it. Oh my god. Okay. 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 So there is sky, there is ground, there is underground. Okay. Okay. Sure. It's fine. These roots run deep. Now there's like life. Yeah, you can see. Does this remove my gloom? I believe it did on the last one. I don't know if it does that or not. So I've, the light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. It, it lets you eat. Okay, well, I will. It, that would be too nice of the game. Yeah, to give you a free thing. I'll eat these. Um, cool. Where am I going? Robbie's right outside of the ring you're in. He's this direction. No. No. He's literally just spinning a circle slowly. You'll what? see him. What? Oh, he's right there. Good call. What? Look at how bright that thing got. Light down in the dark is downright defresh refreshing. <laughs> defreshing. Defreshing. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. Oh. This statue, it's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the P-pad's basic features. Hmm, give me that P-pad for a second, all right? I'll show you how to use a P-pad. Well, there's the problem. Your camera's locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that. Blah, blah, blah. That's how you play uh, Tears of the Kingdom. You tap this and pull this and... Bop it. Pull it. Uh, capture images using the pad You can save them to the album. Creatures. Take photos. Take pictures of horses. You've played Breath of the Wild. You know how this works. Boom. I'm pretty sure he just, like, uppercutted me. <laughs> now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I'll want to see how it looks. I'll judge your photography skills. So, camera. Statue with raised arm. I did it. Very nice. Hey, you! How'd that go? If you've captured an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. Okay, Robbie. So, did you get a good picture? I feel like we've rehashed that now. Yeah. Stupendous. Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense root, getting us a picture of the statue? You've just started helping us research what's down here. But soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Jesus, there's so much... Yeah. Like, there's an underground. Is that? It's just a tree. Is, it doesn't go nowhere? No. Okay, so my first thought, having finished that, is get me out of here. Um, because this... Okay, well, can you warp? Can I warp out of this mm -hmm. place? 
Uh, yeah, actually, cool. I can. So I'm cool. gonna do that. Are the so are these warp points too? Then yes. Okay, so I I've done two. There's a pin we have above that on the surface. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, I don't remember putting a pin down here. You didn't. All right, let's go back to the surface where um, I'm... Light is. I, yeah, where I'm, yeah. I feel safe. You don't like underground, do you? It's not my favorite. Yeah, didn't think it would be. No, wh why Why do you say that? <laughs> How you were acting? Oh, yeah. Oh, bird. Hello, bird. So they finally did it. Ah. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. Real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? My name is Link. Link, you say. Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? It's hey, Pelican. Hey, buddy. You got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha! <laughs> Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. I'm Ben, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. Better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Ah. Our newspaper is based in Hebrew to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then... Safe ba place for baby. Soar long. Falcon mouth. He's gone. Um, so wait, I came back here, what, probably to talk to Pira? Yeah. And be like, hey. No, um. Joshua. Joshua. Oh, so not you. Is she below you? Yes. Oh, talk to Robbie. Oh. Hey, you! Show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well and it looks darn cool too. I did, I did this. It looks like that. This is it! This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll keep finding more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that... There's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Uh-huh. I mean, I, I talked to the people in the sky, and they kind of had an idea. Yeah. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles. Swordsman. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, for going to investigate the depths for me. We must get to that lab. His lab. Oh. Remember how he was talking about his lab? Dear God, man. Just, mm, a lot. Also, the X is still there from where you just jumped off and died. It's fine. Um... Cool. My first thoughts are that we're so close to having an additional heart. Yeah. And we have a few shrines uh -huh. marked that maybe that will be the next thing that we try and take care of. Sounds good. All right. Let's wrap up. All right. Yeah, game, um, game big? Game really big. Game really big. I don't know if y'all knew. Game really big. You've only had three weeks to play this game, so you're probably not as far as we are. Um, but game real big? It's like three maps? Yeah. Read a bit some Will Peters who says, trees are alive and can hurt you. What is this, Wizard of Oz? <laughs> I did enjoy watching the tree come to life when it was you playing. Yeah. That was great. 
Three different man just says, welcome to the depths. This area gives me a bit of a Pikmin vibe. Probably because everything is very tall and makes you feel tiny. Enjoy exploring Dark Hyrule. I don't know that I will enjoy exploring Dark Hyrule. You haven't so far. I haven't enjoyed it yet. Um, when I when I feel a little stronger, I think that it'll get better. Mm. Uh, but right now, it's like... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 30 months from Legend of Genji. Read the Nintendo Painter gifted sub to Tom Fox. 33 months from Star Bloom Fae. 300 bits from Decoy Choi says, I legitimately forgot the name of the ascendability because my wife and I just call it Uppies. Uppies. It is Uppies, though, so I, you know. Seems fine. Seems like a proper way to refer to it. We've also got uh, two final arts for this evening. Aww. Kippy's birthday. Happy birthday, Kippy. Hi, Kippy. He cuddles. He's like, do I get to eat again? Is that? Yeah, soon. It's almost he midnight. He really likes this couch. Yeah, he does. More than the last couch. <laughs> You're not wrong. Tom. Got, Got him. him. So before I forget, because I, I do worry I'll forget, just save. Yeah, it's probably, probably safer. Um, hey, y'all. Uh, thanks for being here. You're hungry. He is hungry, because he uh, is a cat and uh, wants to eat Thank you, as much Kyle. food as humanly possible. Um, so I'm going to tell you about a few things before I, before I, 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 I send, send y'all out. Um, but, uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Um, there is going to be code names tomorrow. Did you get a tap? He's hungry. You tapping her? There is going to be code names, um, mm -hmm tomorrow at noon so check that out it'll be a fun time and then uh i don't think that there's any other major things to announce uh i'm just continuing to work on vlogs we're gonna have a guest on tuesday for breakfast stream yes mm -hmm. we will have a guest on tuesday for breakfast stream and we will have a guest on thursday for breakfast stream and we will have a guest next tuesday for breakfast stream mm -hmm. so we're gonna have like a guest for um a, a, a bit uh which is exciting i'm really uh, looking forward to to that. It'll be fun. It's gonna be fun. Uh, we got 510 bits. Says uh, just in case you forgot, my name is F J Time, but I'll also answer to John. F J Time. F J Time. I see time in there, so I'll probably remember that better. <laughs> Today I learned Mal watches Tom enough to quote him, or just hangs out more with him than I knew. Put baby in pelican mouth. Yeah, we um, do recordings with Tom sometimes. Yeah. Or he'll just, like, stop by on Saturday night and we'll just, like, hang out. Where did something, Tom learn about Facebook put... Facebook Marketplace. I feel like Tom may have learned about Put Baby in Pelican Mouth from us. I feel like that, too. I actually think that's where Tom learned about that. Because <laughs> it's a it's a... It's a meme that was very, very funny to our group. And yeah. I think that we may have actually showed it to Tom originally. Um, I don't know if that's correct or not, but I think, I feel like it might be. Hi, cat. Half baby boy David. Half baby boy David is my new favorite meme. That I really like. I love half baby I boy I really David. love that I sent that to Tom when he was streaming and he read it out loud. Tom, Tom is a good sport. Like, you, if Tom's streaming something, you can just send it to Tom, and yeah. he'll be like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll watch this." Uh, Three bits from Wonder J thirteen says, "Hey, Stephen Amal, I watched your Breath of the Wild stream vods as they were being uploaded, and it's so fun to be viewing these live. Thanks for the good vibes. Well, thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. And and also, I, I feel like there's probably pr probably several people here that are in the exact same spot that like maybe they didn't get a chance to watch Breath of the Wild live." But they've seen the videos or the VODs, and now they get a chance to experience Tears of the Kingdom live. So for all of those folks, hey, I'm glad you're here. And uh, I know we had a few people that it was their first time watching the streams tonight. Yeah. And I think that this was a pretty good indication of um, what the streams are like. Mm -hmm. 
there's some songs and fun alerts and Stephen forgets shapes. Um, me and Haley are basically polar opposites. Yeah. She's so good at In shapes. In a few ways. And I'm, I'm, <laughs> yes, it's true. Uh, so tonight I'm going to send you over to, I'm going to send you over to Jeff. Yeah, I'm going to send you over to Jeff. Jeff is playing DDR. Chaparro Coyote. So let me pull this up. And then get the thing. The the It is definitely going to be not my way to the top. I saw folks mention that earlier, and I was like, it's definitely going to be not my way to the top. Like, that that is the raid message. There can be no other raid message. It has to be that. It's really good. <laughs> I really like it. Let me make sure I get the spelling of this right. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, that is it. Thank you again for being here tonight. I hope that you treat yourselves well this weekend and um, check out the Codenames episode on Stephen Plays tomorrow afternoon. Um, and that's it. That's it. That's it. I'll try and get some more vlogs out. Okay. All right. Go let Jeff know. <laughs> go let Jeff know. Hold on. How hold on? How far are we into a song? Because we're in, we're into a song. Oh, Jeff failed. Hold on. He Jeff is doing the hard song. I'm gonna raid right now. <laughs> Thanks again for being here. Um, and uh, we'll see you on Tuesday morning when we have a guest. Don't miss it. 9 a.m. Eastern. All right, raid go. Don't step on the keyboard, buddy. Oh, he cute. If you can help it. He curled up with the keyboard. He curl up with the keyboard. He being sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is our raid message. Uh, um, interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, oh, it is. Well, yeah. well, come on in, folks. Uh, I am Jeff of Stephen George fame, uh, also known as Chaparral Coyote in the furry verse. It's good to see you all here tonight. You already know who Stephen is. You already follow Stephen. I don't need to explain who Stephen is or why you should go follow him. <laughs> We're, we're not we're not nutting our way to the top here. You're not nutting your way to the top. Jeff, you really gotta nut your way straight to the top. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, um Alright. Hey. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Uh that's 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 it. Um I don't got anything else to like yeah, add. I don't think so. So have a good night. We have 39 months for midnight. night. Thanks for that. <laughs> got that one. And uh, you know, like, hey, I'm gonna ask you. To, I, I always say like treat yourselves nice, but like you know, have like uh, like a sweet. Like tomorrow, I'm getting a donut. I earned a donut. Like, I haven't had a donut in a long time. Maybe get like a tiny sweet. It's up to you. Buy a whole cake. I don't care. But like, yeah, just like, yeah, a little sweet. Like, maybe get a donut with me. Because I want a donut. <laughs> All right, I'm done. That's it. Have a good one. We'll see you on. Uh, on Are you on... Paying? <laughs> I'll get. I'll get. I'll get like a half dozen donuts. You can't just get like two donuts. You can. You, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, half a dozen donuts. You can. I'm gonna get a dozen. Yeah, no, we'll go. Two dozen. Two dozen donuts. Okay, I'm done. See you Tuesday morning. <laughs>